Fixerbot says. Welcome. Stream starts in 5 minutes. T minus four minutes.
Rotel, look into the three. Uh, uh, not morning, but lunch time. <laughs> uh, I've got some yogurt today, just and bread. But that's so good. Lemon yogurt. Yeah. And some I had some bluebird left in yesterday. <laughs> you think I will eat? If I did, had not eaten the, the Thai food, you think I only eat yogurt, right? <laughs> uh, so, let's see. Uh, we're going to continue where we left off on Triacme, was my thought. In case no one has another suggestion. Um, oh, how many tabs they have opened. <laughs> well, OBS could Christy open. Says. <laughs> T minus. Morning. Morning or afternoon, maybe? <laughs> uh, you're my time zone, right? I think so, Christy. But I guess it's morning in one way. <laughs> so, um, yeah. All oh, right. The stream was too long. <laughs> I think it's this one. 12 hours, 49 minutes. <laughs> I couldn't upload it. Have YouTube. you seen NASA's stream yesterday? Oh, yeah. I watched a bit. Yeah, the eclipse. That was cool. And I, one of the uh, presenters kind of started crying. Totally like, why am I crying? <laughs> It was such an emotional thing to see, so, uh, and I really felt that you should be there because they were saying, "Oh, look at the planets over there," and we were just seeing this zoomed-in sun image, uh, and also there were these, you know, rings and stuff. And I think I saw it a tiny bit one time, but they just flipped the filter, you know, right there, so we couldn't see it. <laughs> should have been there. Yeah, you watched it. I didn't watch all of it. I've I think I saw like three or four of the locations um, that they hopped through. They moved from MX to almost CA with the transmission. Yay, it was awesome. Yeah, 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 cool. So, uh, so that's part of why I have this red number on my Triacme. <laughs> it says... Watched <gasps> all. Oh, you watched all of it. Okay, okay. I had to, to do some other stuff too. Uh, so, your streak was saved by your one day streak freeze. <laughs> so, apparently, uh, I did Saturday. I just popped in and actually clicked the, I think, the last uh, no answer thing on this one. Um, yeah, since... also doing some things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's see here. Resets every 24 hours. From last answer. Um, okay. Resets? Uh, what resets? But plebs using a script. Yeah, I think you're talking about the streak freeze, right? So I haven't really cared. I had 64 days once, but... I was kind of annoyed. Keep streak on. Yeah. Um, so I I think um, I I thought it was like both negative and positive to try keep it going, uh, and I've thought about the you know just having a script because you can just even use the same question and just reset, click, reset, click. You know it. It's, there's no logic to it. <laughs> uh, so that's why people can have so long streaks. Um, but, you know, it could be a motivation to do it. But I think the problem for me was that uh, uh, it doesn't do time zones. So it's counted in another time zone. And that's why I used to get this notification email that uh, oh you should do something i'm like okay i'll go do something that's nice and then it didn't i didn't get those mails anymore so i don't know what happened but i stopped getting the mails uh, so some kind of combination of that uh so 
Yeah, right, I think I clicked the last one here. Let's see if that was it. Right, yeah, I just clicked this to get the streak going. But I don't know if if I want to keep it going or not. Because this, I think this one is also just a click, but I wanted to make sure to start at the, the same place. So I actually thought I kind of lost the streak, because I didn't have a, think I have a streak freeze already, but I, apparently I did, so... Um, yeah, Metasploit, we're relearning or and repeating and learning more stuff here, so... Um, yeah, and my mind has been kind of a lot on... Um, on martial arts <laughs> lately, since we talked about on stream the No Retreat, No Surrender. I watched it actually there, and then I, you know, YouTube sends you on to like um, lots of videos, other videos. <laughs> um, I don't think I have any of those left up. I think I kind of closed it all down. Let's see. No, it's just it's just my channel, uh, me testing stuff. So let's make sure that I don't have anything <laughs> still running here. Yeah, I do. Let's stop this. I was kind of checking my own things that they looked okay. No. Closing lots of tabs here. That's the other one. I'll need to fix this. What? It's just the titles that have gone odd. Oh, whatever. <sighs> whatever, whatever. Anyway, so I watched like some uh, Bruce Lee, short Bruce Lee documentary, and you know, it's the that was the 80s, so it's not far. I that's the kind of links I got when I watched New Retreat Surrender, since it's Bruce Lee in there, you know. Um, or you know, you might not know, but it's a an old movie with a kid that moves to a new place, and his, his dad. It's kind of like some organized crime taking over all the karate places or something. So there, he's kind of fighting that in, in his way as a kid. Of course, meeting the ghost of Bruce Lee and g getting framed by him. <laughs> of course. Um, so. <laughs> Bruce Lee is the best. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he, um, unfortunately, you know, he died young and before, long before I was born. <laughs> so, uh, but there are like, cool people. So, uh, I've trained some stuff myself too. Um, I actually started training when I was a teen. I think a friend, um, or I know if a friend, uh, brought me along because her dad had, had trained like karate i think and uh, then there was like jujitsu yeah, kind of close to us um there are lots of myths i would call it myths um and that's just one of the theories so wh what am i looking for i'm looking for kali there um, yeah, so I, I used to train, first I trained Jujutsu for like a few years, and I trained Bujikan. And then I've trained like uh, MMA and kickboxing and lots of different things. But I, I, I was in a car accident, so then I didn't train for a long time. And I think maybe my back is still the problem now when I train. <laughs> because um, 
<clears throat> I got quite much pain, actually. <laughs> but I'm going to get in shape. Again. Yeah. Have to, right? So... Maybe I should eat before I start reading this. Mmm. I know, so we did the sports scanning bit, right? And we had questions on it. So this is done. I'm just thinking, is there something we should repeat from this? Because yesterday I was just trying to install Black Arch. I didn't do any studying. It was just like Monday morning early. What lazy thing can we do, you know? <laughs> Um, so if I click, I could probably sc scroll easier. Yeah. So I, I was kind of thinking, like, actually I've been thinking about security more than just the last year, but that's been more like, generally. Um, my, my Bujin Ken sensei, he used to have like security courses for security guards and bodyguards, maybe it was, I don't know, something like that. Um, let's see now. Uh, I'm going to the notes. And it's like right there. So, <clears throat> yeah, I think I just pasted all of the command prompt there uh, with all the things. And we don't want these in the notes, right? It's kind of, it's too much for it to handle even scrolling through. Um, and I think actually this part but I realized it, it adjusted to where we were. Uh, it was like what I had here, I think. Job command, resource commands. And then of course this hops to the start again. Um, maybe we should make another one. And maybe the, we'll just continue typing over the test run. That's probably the best. And then I can get the stuff from here, what's interesting later. Um, I was just thinking if we could repeat something by looking at this. Um, but I know how much, how messy it was last time. Uh, so I'll just continue. <sighs> so, um, let's... Actually, I'm kind of dying from my jeans being warm. Question is if I should... Uh, we'll see if I can stand it. <laughs> so... Thundermark says... Just came here to drop my good energy. Keep up with the yeah. cyber work. Sounds Currently smart. working so can't stay. Doing stream okay. myself later today. Flex okay, bicep. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me look at where do I have chat over there. So hi Thundermarks. Thanks for dropping in and hope you have a great day. And the same to you. Yeah? Keep up the cyber work. So um where do I have a normal window that I can actually click? Uh, yeah, right, the TDS one. So here, here I can click your name. Um, so you're streaming too. Then I have to go and shake it out, of course. So shaking it out here, and I'll see if you're streaming later then. Interesting. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool. So you're a new streamer? Just started? 
uh, I assume, because people tend to just get a lot of follow. Uh, professor, cybersecurity engineer. Cool. Blue. How nine says. Are you planning to play hack the box in the future? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've done a few boxes so far, but not much. So we'll see where we end up. Whatever teaches me about it the best. And right now I kind of felt that it was useful to learn Metasploit, though. Uh, I did this, uh, this, started the first of these. Um, let's look at the dashboard. Uh, I had this done from another path, I think. And this is a completely beginner path. So uh, I did this like half a year ago, I think. And I've been interested in this for like one year. Uh, so when I did this, I wish you could see the date you finished it. <laughs> but it was kind of some time ago. So yeah, I started with going through these and actually repeating, repeating that. Um, and I have not used it since. Uh, and there are some months where I have not done anything on this. I've been sick and, you know, life, I have kids. Uh, so life has happened too. <laughs> but I've been, I've been doing a few things and I have never used it. Actually never used it since the demo stuff. So I'm thinking I need to learn enough to be able to know what it can do. Uh, where you can use it. I have used MSF Venom. I have not used MSF whatever it's called. <laughs> Is it console? You know, I don't even remember that much. But I know Christy, she, she said she used it for pivoting and lots of stuff. So, yeah. And I know that um, this uh, Eternal Blue thing is the first first demo. Uh, the first of the pay of these rooms. Uh, so now we're doing explore, exploitation here, uh, and I think we'll go to Ms. Venom, maybe in this, yeah, there. Uh, so, I think we did like IP scans and some stuff in this one, but I'm not really sure anymore. Yeah, we and we also started NMAP from in there, and we run UDP sweep, lots of kind of odd, we didn't get much information. Um, SMB version, right, and when answering these, we learned that we could get a user's password there too. Uh, and I think I have this in my notes, because that could be useful, even I think there are easier ways, right? Uh, but I'm really new to the SNB exploration uh, anyway. Um, so I've seen people do it, but I have not really done it. I, I, well, I look at my notes and I have done it uh, a little, but um, not much. <laughs> I searched for it and I, th I was like, I do have notes somewhere on this, but where? And I didn't found, find it. Uh, when I started my notes, I did Google Docs and I've been trying to move everything over here, but I think I must have, some bits have just been misplaced somewhere. But it's just to make new ones, so. <laughs> um, but good notes, that's so nice to have. You can just click where, where uh, I made these ones recently like a start here for web, what to look, check. And this is not as finished as the Linux one, which is, uh, I think this has more things. Um, but I'll continue working on these two. But right now it's MSF console, that's the thing. Um, well, let's see, did I do, I have not added all the commands we've used here, I think. Yeah, we can search for like type and things. Uh, and we can... Uh, did I add Seti? Yeah, it's here. Um, 
and it, you can do run also, not just exporting. You can use set for it automatically background if you get sessions. And for the sessions, you can do this. And then I don't think I have the note really for that bit. This bit. I didn't make notes, so let's make better notes this time. Because uh, I'll have to go through that <laughs> and make notes later. So this is test run notes here. And I think I pressed an extra key there. <laughs> yeah. That was... We see only the odds. All right. Oh my god. Sorry, guys. Thank you for saying that. So um, I was just showing you stuff in my notes. <laughs> Less uh, than three. Yeah, for for new people, there is a command that's exclamation mark right, which shifts you to my VM screen, where we also have OBS. And uh, to go to the left screen, where I have my notes and try hack me, it's the exclamation mark left. Uh, so in case I miss, you can fix it yourself. <laughs> uh, I'm just moving OBS over. We don't need to have it that big. So, um, thank you very much for mentioning. So that's that's very helpful. Thank you. Um, so mm, now we have Kali up here. So let's just start the VPN first, because if you forget that, you're like, what? Can't Christy find says, anything here. If you don't let them know in title, what is the general help for commands? <laughs> no one will know what to use. I'm going to add a command, command, yeah, and the CMD one I was thinking. So like having the title exclamation CMD, people usually will get it right. At least you could try it. Um, but it's not there yet. I'll have to add it. So it's on my to-do list already. I know it. <laughs> um, let's just, uh, yeah, it's the right one. There. Um, and since this is not really a box, we'll we'll see. We probably not even have to start anything else but the command prompt or the terminal. So let's go to the next page and start reading this. Um, I'm thinking I will, uh, this is not a lot of text though, but I'm thinking I'll, I'll try to get a bite of food in between her, since this is my lunch. Um, so the Metasploit database is what we, what I'm going to learn about and maybe you too, I don't know. Uh, well, it is not required when interacting with a single target on TryHackMe. An actual penetration testing engagement will likely have several targets. Metasploit has a database function to simplify project management and avoid possible confusion when setting up parameter values. Uh, you will first need to start the PostgreSQL database, which Metasploit will use with the following command. Okay, so we need to start it before uh, to use the database known here, then. So, uh, to use um, database. Oh, it already had them there. Oh, that's so annoying. If you're after and you type this character when there's one in the start, it disappears. It's not added an extra one. So, <laughs> funny quirks of Obsidian. So, we should also run it. Uh, then you will need to initialize the Metasploit database using the msfdb init. So, um, let's run these. Uh, 
There. Yeah, I thought so. It's kind of cute when they get the graphical ones right. I don't like it. I don't like it. I like my terminal. There. Uh, and then let's do ms. Actually, I should have typed everything. Because, you know, learning. Uh, msf db init. And there. Uh, error. Yeah. So let's modify <laughs> these commands in the notes and actually do sudo with them. And so we don't have that pop up. There. And we can also. Uh, let's add. I'm thinking notes. Notes taking. Let's copy this bit. And go to the notes. And let's actually split this up. And let's put it here. We don't have to have this one. Uh, let's Let's sudo this one. Ooh. So, um, I'm just typing a bit there. Did I have anything here? Yeah, I did add it here. Um, so let's keep it here too. But not with the output, just the basic. Mm. Uh, msfdb in it. There. So we have a short one. Um, then you will need to initialize the Metasploit database. Oh, that's what we did. So. We don't have exactly the same output there, but uh, you can now launch MSF console and check the database status by using the command. So db status. And first, let's go to this. Uh, in MSF console. So, check db uh, status. I think I'll do one of these and we'll grab the output too. So, uh, msf at console there. All right. How do I not have to type all that long thing? <laughs> I. It has to be like a quiet thing, right? There we have the prompt. Um, let's do the db status. Yes, yeah, so we have we have the connection here. And let's add this to the notes. I'm just pasting it in here. Oh, 
Oh no, no nice <laughs> colors there. I wanted colors. Um. Right. Uh, I'll do another thing in the notes because we duplicated the other one. So, in MSF console. DB. Status. So, oh. I do have to eat a bit actually, so um, it could go two hours and I just forget to eat. <laughs> Workspace. The database feature will allow you to create workspaces to isolate different projects. When first launched, you should be in the default workspace. You can list available workspaces using the workspace command. I actually mix the sweet lemon yogurt with some natural yogurt because it's too sweet. <laughs> Right, I was playing with the colors of the light, so I'm not sure it's the same color. Um, I've also added to... I, I've had this all the time, but I didn't stream often enough to, to use... Yeah, these... On the phone app to turn them on and off. I just click the button, you know, and then I have to reach all over the place. It's so easy to do it on the phone. <coughs> Um, but you can also easily switch the colors. Now you can do kind of fun things. Was this the back one? No, that's that one. That's the back one. So if we play with the back one, we can do... Um, uh, I was thinking I should get like... Some more fun things. <laughs> Um, this is like cop car, ambulance, fire truck, then you have fireworks, party, can light, and lightning, paparazzi, and TV screen. Oh well. Um, then we can just select any color from, let's say, um, camera's color. Uh, let's do this post-its color. So, now it's trying to mimic the orange post-its color. Um, now we can do RGB, any color is pink. So, should we Make it more pink. Ah, <laughs> uh, anyway. So, I'll just go back to... I don't think I had really... Because this is also like pink. I had it on... CCT, I think. Uh, color temperature 32,000 K. 3200 K. There. So, I'm closing that. But that's kind of nice. Uh, not to have to run around. Um. <coughs> there. So. Um, let's focus. 
Um, yeah, let's do the workspace one. And this could be useful, I imagine. Um, so let's actually run it too. And I can type workspace. What did I copy that? And it says default. Um, I could, of course, like take screenshots of these. But I'm kind of thinking it's nice to have it like this. Sometimes, uh, yeah, and it takes time too. It takes time. So, um, If we look here, what it said, the deepest feature will allow you to create workspaces to isolate different projects. Uh, when first launched, you should be in the default workspace. So, yeah, I'm assuming we'll create one, right? So, you can add a workspace using the A parameters or delete a workspace using the D parameter, effectively. So, the screenshot uh, below shows that the new workspace named for Hackney was created. There. Um, so let's do this. And our web works, right? So let's add one called Try Hackney. And it will immediately switch, right? Yeah, it says in the text here, you will also notice a new database name is printed in red starting um, let's in there. Uh, starting with a star symbol. Uh, you can use the workspace command to navigate between workspaces simply by typing workspace followed by the desired workspace name. So if we do work space uh, default there and we do workspace again and then we do try hack me one and it's hump hopping around there <coughs> kind of funny that the active one is the end of the list but i guess that's if you have I'm scrolling off the screen. It would be useful, right? Um, but that sounds kind of unorganized. So I'm assuming they are doing that, right? Yeah, workspace, try hack me. Um, and D for deleting. So we'll need to add these to the notes. Check workspaces. Uh, add, delete, and there. So we'll add it down here. And I'm just going to copy stuff. And then I'll just fake the output of deleting it, should I? No. Let's let's delete it and add it back. So we have the output for it too. So if we work space and also putting this in my memory more firmly. Workspace D try hack me. We're even rhyming here. So deleted workspace. And then let's add it again. <clears throat> there. So uh, 
Uh, just added that to the end of the notes that we should read on. So add that bit there. My kids. Yes, love. Uh, before I started streaming, I asked my 13 year old if he wanted food. He said, No, I, I already ate uh, some stuff. And <laughs> I don't remember the English word. So, yeah, cereal. He ate some cereal. Uh, <laughs> But now he wants food <laughs> when I started. So uh, I guess I will be adding like a, my lunch sign. Just quickly, I'm, I'm, we're a quick pizza maker. It'll be like five minutes maximum. I'll be right back.
Now we have a Kelsoni loving finished dough, of course. Oh, this is interesting. First time, that I print. Ah, the curtain got stuck in the wheel. Fixerbot says, new follower Ekachir zero you, less than three. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just appearing here and getting followed. zero you says, <laughs> sorry I though I followed before, haha. <laughs> okay, welcome as a follower. <laughs> Ah, just to do. I ate some cheese when I made the pizza. There. So. Oh, met exploit today. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, and I, I kind of started a bit there, but then I haven't used it since I did the first of these rooms so I I need to learn enough to actually use it <laughs> and I'm hoping I will now so now we have looked at starting using a database just as far as initializing it and selecting it um, so so h command to the list available workspace commands which is kind of obvious i guess but we can add it to the notes anyway um so um i guess this should be db workspaces we'll see what else will pop in here so if we do um i guess that we should put this one here right no so uh, work space and we have workspace h um i'm thinking should i just add them here like short just listed zacker 404 says hello everyone <coughs> hello welcome in zacker uh so a add d delete we could do like just H help, you know. Um, and this is like a section. So um, there's also Ekachir zero. They're possibly listing. One important thing THM are not pointing is that you should set auto load state defaults. This will help you avoid heuristic detection most of the times. You can enable it once you get a call back from the implant smile smile. Okay. Um Auto load STD API false. So something, st a standard API is not loaded. So tell me about it. What it does and why. <laughs> what demands I put them for people trying to help. <laughs> um. Well, let's see, let's just, for now, I'm not putting that comment, so I can use it later. All right, let's word wrap. There. I already have just three or four notepads open. 
No, but that's other stuff. That's actually files. Um, so, uh, eight for the help. Was there anything else? Or V, that's for switching. A for adding, D for deleting, and we can add and delete several at once. Uh, D to delete all. <laughs> okay. R to rename. Oh, well, we can add our rename to our list. Uh, there. So, R rename. And I assume you put the names there. You disable that standard API function call from within the console. Therefore, it's not invoking it straight away once you can a call back, which is something AVs are looking for in heuristics. Okay, okay, cool. Mm. So, it's it's recognizing it. That's nice. Uh, I'm copying your comment here and adding it to this. And when I get further into this, I'll add this to the notes when we can test it. Um, yeah, let, let's uh, just there. So it has a, a saved in case I... You know, As red team is here, it we might hate just AB, crash. D, D. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> um, though everybody hates AV, but some people decide over other people that they need AV, <laughs> right? Everybody always hates AV because it's taking resources that we don't need them to take, right? Poor IT people. <laughs> like me, yes, I used to be having to explain to everybody why they it, it could be useful to use those resources. Uh, so, mm. Just checking that I have everything. Uh, Good that you have IT background, <laughs> which I would assume you know PowerShell somewhat. Yeah, I followed along when they developed it. Uh, lots of, you know, back then we <laughs> we had <laughs> news, uh, Microsoft news groups, and we had uh, well, when it was finished, I I did a course on it too, but that was long ago, you know. Uh, and they was they were aiming to make it very use easy to use with logical names and now we have this so much too long naming you know all those names all that typing mm. but i don't i don't know it you know um i have to learn more relearn but I, I, you know, I know how computers work. <laughs> so that's nice. Connecting different Push bits. Says, Your level 10 giant is not enough for the Ohio boss. You must team up with the Sigma King and Skibidi to toilet to win. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> That's an interesting first time chat. So, I I must level up my how should we translate this into our theme here? I must level up my PowerShell knowledge. Um And we must team up. Ekachir right. Zero, you says. <laughs> to bad that now PowerShell is heavily watched by AV and EDR frown. Yeah. Yeah, both. I see your smiley there. Both yes and no. <laughs> 
So I'm putting my yogurt aside a bit there. And let's focus. <clears throat> so, um, simple who am I triggers alert, but I wanted to know who I am. Ha ha ha. D. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the kind of obvious thing though. People know who they are. They don't who am I. If you who am I, you're not the right person supposed to be there. <laughs> so, oh yes. Um, then if some users actually use it because they're like learning. <laughs> uh, and my brain sees like making fun of people but sometimes by I forget who I am. Making Me. scripts. <laughs> Doing that for the four users. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I used to make uh, like uh, GPO scripts long ago. <laughs> Um, and now I was just, I just did the <laughs> before air, uh, it was an AD uh, room or learning room. Uh, <laughs> so it was kind of fun. And also, uh, someone asked me to do a box and when we did it, uh, they said that they had to go to, um, remote RPC yet uh, to be able to change the permissions but since I know that the owner can set permissions and we were in the authority we just didn't have permissions so we just boom so that's nice <laughs> to have some some knowledge of some things from being an administrator of it <laughs> uh, the files I have moved with Robocopy from server to server <laughs> Uh, so database backend commands. True, true, haha. Um, analyze. So these are all the related database related commands. Help command. Um, let's just, I have to try help here now. <clears throat> yeah, so now we have this extra menu here. So I, in part, I like how the help works. In part, it's just crazy long. Oh my God, you know, am I going to scroll through this and read this to get a simple help? It's just too long. It's related to PowerShell. <laughs> they could have like slimmed the... Why have two new lines there? Seriously. Uh, sorry, I'm not supposed to complain about things. <laughs> okay, but we have them. We have the commands here. So... Uh, let's hop back to the notes. So, uh, help now includes db commands. We don't copy the whole thing, that would be too much, but we'll probably use it so. We have analyze, connect, export a file containing the contents. It makes a file from the database. Too complicated explanation. Import the scan results. And map db and map <clears throat> okay uh so <laughs> it runs normal and map with this and then it just 
records it. DB rebuild cache, rebuild to database stored module cache. Maybe I should change the stream title to include Metasploit. I can do that. It won't stay though and off later when uh, I'll have to add it again. Uh, when I edit stuff, I usually add like things like that. Um, right, so I have the same thing on both screens now. Uh, one from the help command and one from this. Uh, let's read the rest of it. Debate remove. Save. And this is the one we used. Okay, so we can list all the hosts in the database. So these are not named DB. Uh, I can see this will lead to interesting things. Uh, if you run nmap scan using the db nmap shown below, our results will be saved to the database. So it's just normal nmap commands with the normal switches, but it's saved. Mm -hmm. That could be interesting. If you would use this for everything, I guess it could be useful, but that's not what you usually do, right? I've never seen anyone do this. Uh, that's what I'm thinking of. And also, it's very easy to just read the data as sex normally. We'll see what happens, how it will be used. Uh, we can mention it in the in the notes. Uh, DB and map. Uh, just normal, but saved to DB. You can now reach information relevant to hosts and services on target system with the hosts and services commands. Services. Let's see. I'm more curious in that one. Uh, because the host is just... Yeah, it's just one here. Oh, this is annoying. This kind of output. <laughs> services. And then it lists... Hmm... Mm -hmm. But how would this be superior to the normal listing? I hope it's coming. Um, there, so the host age and services age command can help you become more familiar with the available options. Uh, once the host information is stored in the database, you can use host R command to add this value to the R hosts parameter <clears throat> okay um, should I make notes of all of this that's the question uh, so let's uh, saves data to hosts uh, services do do uh, enables use of uh, stuff like uh, hosts r to double uh, r hosts.
Mm, so uh, we have typed show options to shake if all values were assigned correctly to the host line. No, I missed something. Mm -hmm. uh, just the first one, I guess. We will use a vulnerability scanning module to find potential MS1701. And I remember that from before. And <laughs> uh, the scammer dude. Only the exploit started with the scanner, so it was kind of, I guess, if you run it on several. So, they're scanning this one. Oh, sorry. Right. Um, we have something to start here that we can test with, right? So let's do that. Just making sure you can see the full screen. But it was the other one I cut down yesterday. My lunch tiredness is coming. Savage Banan <laughs> Soup says, Hey, uh, did you get Blauark working? Uh, welcome in, Savage Banana. Oh, so, did you have like a short name right there? I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, anyway, uh, that was like a parenthesis yesterday because I felt it was too early to start studying it. 7.30 in the morning <laughs> and I wanted to take a look at it. We'll see if I'll look more at it. Uh, but it's running, yeah. Uh, but I don't really... I, I don't even have the key shortcut to get the menu up. I'll have to like Google stuff. Because clicking and then needing the arrows because the number of tools is not handleable by the mouse. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. We'll probably play with it uh, some other day, but now I'm using my normal Kelly. So it was, was more to, to look at it and see what it was than to actually, you know. I tried it years ago, but thought it just a bit too much, personally, yeah, when yeah. this Kali slash parried. Yeah, and uh, someone uh, also said, it said in the documentation when you downloaded it, that there are so many conflicts here, I don't recommend you running all the tools, <laughs> installing all the tools, the full thing. And I'm like, why then have a full package? You know, the reason you would install such a thing is that they've already checked that it's compatible with each other. That's why you want it. Uh, so why use something that doesn't work? And they're warning you. I mean, it's just odd. Um, whatever. <laughs> we'll look at it another day when I'm tired. <laughs> and don't have the energy to study. So I need to learn useful stuff. Because I guess it's useful to have done that installation anyway. Because there were some problems and that's what you learn from. So uh, let's just continue this now. So... Um... Uh, SMB scans. Where am I really? Right, right. Cause we switched. That's why we switched to the last one to start the box. I would That's think if you want to use why. Arch because latest packages, just use Arch with the desktop environment you want and install what you need on top. Yeah, I, I just, the only thing interesting to me was that there's lots of tools. You're making <laughs> me want to try tree hacking again. Yeah, do it, do it. It's it's kind of nice. It's it's kind of buggy too, and you kind of die sometimes, and you kind of have to restart boxes and stuff. But it's very nice, and uh, it's some rooms are not very pedagogical, <laughs> but some are. So 
and you can always learn something from them, right? So let's see. Uh, we've done this. We've done this. We've done this. Uh, we didn't run the end map, so that's what I was kind of going for now. Let's actually do this too. Uh, so uh, we got this humongous help information there. So if we actually just do this, just as they do in it, db uh, underscore end map. I should have been able to guess that right. And then they are doing. Well, let's do the same one. SV P uh, and our IP. Uh, it's 10, 10, 10, 10, 12. Lots of ones and twos there. <laughs> so now we should get information into our hosts. Well, I guess one and services. So the services it finds. I'm assuming it will take the same time as a normal end map, since that's what it is. It just splits the data up. So uh, I'm assuming we'll get something similar to this. No output yet. Um, and then we have hosts H and services H to see more information about it. Uh, we're getting stuff. So. Uh, this is the information we got. FTP, SSH, uh, yeah, HTTP. So, if we go back and we can use hosts R to set our hosts. Let's do that too. And I have to click there again. That's the only bad part with virtual machines, right? You have to really click first to go to the machine and then click again to get into the place where you want to type. Uh, so now this one was set, which means it was there as it should be. Um, and <coughs> Uh, we're going to use this one, so I'm going to copy the name. We could have just searched and, you know, uh, copy. <laughs> there. So, um, going back to what they're doing. Uh, show options, yeah, we can do that, and then run it. So, options. Um, I'm just thinking is it, yeah, since this is using SMB, it's using that port, which is, it doesn't get it from here, it's just the normal one for, for SMB, so that's why. Uh, I'm just scrolling down in the track me page. Oh, they do nothing more than do the run then. So let's go. And I kind of assume uh, it does not appear to be vulnerable. I think we had one in the previous one if you want to try. It was vulnerable. Um, so. Um, uh, in a typical. Uh, we could have the following scenario, finding available hosts, scanning these for further vulnerable or open ports. 
the service's command is used with S parameter will allow you to search specific services for specific services. Uh, we'll have to type this, of course. Though <laughs> we did the end map, I don't see the practical reason more than to learn now. I think my kid is getting the pizza. Um, <laughs> oh, how cute! It it was fixing my typo, or it thought it it didn't fix it. It just said it didn't know it. So we already have this, you know. <sighs> but anyway, we can search in in the result for something specific. And if we had several machines running this, we would find it. That could be useful, right? Searching in our nmap results. I'm guessing that's the point. Yeah, join the Discord, people! You have to join the Discord so we can talk! <laughs> uh, you, you may want to look for low-hanging fruits such as HTTP, FTP, SMB, SSH, RDP. <coughs> Can possibly have the web publication available. SQL Encryption, RCE. And I was logging like that. What if I... <coughs> Yeah, I guess I've never seen a default or easy to guess credential yet. And as you can see, Metasploit has many features to aid in engagement, such as ability to compartmentalize your engagements into workspaces, analyze your results at a high level, and quickly import and explore data. Yeah, be nice to be able to search in the end map results if for several computers. Yeah. So which ones are running this service? So we have nine. It's a week and more. So vulnerability scanning. Metasploit allows you to quickly identify some critical vulnerabilities that could be considered as low-hanging fruit. The term low-hanging fruit usually refers to easily identifiable and exploitable vulnerabilities that could potentially allow you to gain a foothold on a system, and in some cases gain high-level privileges at its root or administrator. Finding vulnerabilities using Metasploit would rely heavily on your ability to scan and fingerprint your target, the better you are at these stages, the more options Metasploit may provide you. For example, if you identify a VNC service running on the target, you may use the search function on Metasploit to list useful methods, uh, modules. Uh, I'm thinking, yeah. The result will contain payloads of post. Payload and post module. What was post modules? Uh, at this stage, uh, these results are not very useful, as we have not discovered uh, potential to exploit, uh, potential exploit to use yet. However, in the case of VNC, there are several scanner modules that we can use. And right uh, on the YouTube thing, there's nothing there yet, but I have added the the VODs YouTube channel, and someone had actually got in there, and there were yesterday there was several pe seven people that had subscribed, and there was a comment <laughs> on one of my IRL test videos saying hi. So I was like, okay, I just uploaded. This is my backup, people, <laughs> but apparently. There were, I had to go and check the watch hours, and there were quite a few watch hours too, like, you know, less than 20, but still, I'm like, what? Was this interesting to someone? Maybe I should, uh, well, I, I did add it to 
to this, you know, to the about section uh, the other day. And I was thinking that when I catch up to, uh, there are a few more ones that I need to upload. And when I've done that, I may stream on both. So they're automatically uploaded to YouTube. That's the only way that I, you can do it, apparently. So I would dual stream to YouTube just for the backup, you know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I don't really want to read two chats. <laughs> uh, well, if there's lots of people that would go to YouTube, I guess. Uh, we'll see. So one step at a time. But I'm planning to make actual videos that are, you know, planned and thought through on my real YouTube channel. <laughs> so that's not for just putting a lot of random old streams on. Um, uh, results of my payload and post modules. I'm curious what this is. At this stage, the results are not very useful. Yeah. We can scan VNC, apparently. So, <clears throat> I'm just checking up in my scan here. Can I, can I scroll up? Obviously, I'm kind of blind. Yeah, it's it's all... I skipped over these lines because they started with a star for some reason. I was thinking it was, what's this? Uh, it doesn't seem like normal lines. My brain probably thought so. Um, <clears throat> so this one... Uh, since they're looking at something else than we are. So their scan, let's see. Their scan contained what? Yeah, RPC. Lots. So they have they have a different machine than we do. So they we're talking about different stuff, which is nice because they'll ask us questions about this one. I guess that we have, but we can't test it. <laughs> Um, VNC login, VNC no auth, and VNC. Uh, you can use the info command for any module. And this uh, Christy taught us last time, so it's already in my notes. Uh, for any module to have a better understanding of its use and purpose. So this is the info for the scanner VNC VNC login. Oh my <clears throat> As you can see, VNC login module can help us find login details. Uh, and now we're getting a question related to nothing really. Who wrote the module that allows us to check SMTP servers for open relay? So let's search, I guess. Um so we did do the scan i'm scrolling down not vulnerable so we can go back yay i remembered the command <laughs> uh, and then we can do search uh, smtp uh, open relay and we use zero and we do info and now we can see who created it camel murray and we copy this and let's go back and paste it 
there. Uh, let's see, what was the hint? <sighs> okay. Um, well, that's good, I guess. Um, so, exploitation. As the name suggests, Metasploit is an exploitation framework. Yeah, it kind of... <laughs> that's kind of the name. Exploits are most... Mm, exploits are the most populated module category. Okay. Yeah, what are the other things? Encoders. Oh. Auxiliary. Payloads. I will like explanations of these words, really. wonder if this wasn't the first one and I just skipped over it now. Uh, you can search exploits using the search command. Obtain more information about the exploit using the info command and launch the exploit using exploit or run, we know. Well, the process itself is simple. Remember that a successful outcome depends on a thorough understanding of services running on the target system. Most of the exploits will have a preset default payload. You can always use the show payloads command to list other commands that you can use with that specific exploit. Okay, so it can have several. So let's go to the one. Uh, let's check the one we have. Though I assume there's one. But so show payloads. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Um, seriously, apparently this was not a good example to run that on, or it was, because look, <laughs> it was several hundreds, if not thousands, so what does it end on? 1,404, 467 even. Okay, so we just totally messed up our history here. If I were to look at something up there, it's just so far up now. Um, <laughs> there. So should we do it on eternal blow instead? That's their example. So if we go... Um, back. It's hard to remember back. And I think we did use one of those things. That's why I'm... Ah. It was the finally one, MS-17. One. Why do I do this to myself? Eternal. And I spell it wrong. Eternal. Blue. And I am a bit tired, my goodness. So if we use zero and we do, let's do the info so we practice that. No payload configured. So if we now do show payloads, we have 73. So they're just showing us the top 10 here in, in Triacme. Um, so 
and why it's so just a bit of this uh, annoyingly long history. Mm. I'm thinking, should I clear this? Do we have anything we want here? I think you don't. What was this? Oh, it actually says Meta's point. Okay. So we have this in our notes. I think we can we can clear it. Because this is annoying. This is a good test. Uh if clear works. And it does. Which makes this this scrolling is suddenly so much easier, right? Uh so we have I think it was uh, Shiller vs. CCP, it said, was it? That was the default. And the wrapping around is kind of annoying. But I think the text size is okay for streaming, right? Is it a bit tiny still? You tell me if it's too tiny text and I'll fix it. Um, I'm really getting like after lunch tired, but I haven't even finished my lunch, so I'm I'm going to try the multitask a bit here. A bit, okay, getting some more bread. Loaf says, "It's definitely not too tiny." Quite readable on my 24 inch screen. Okay, nice, nice. Good. Thank you. Um, and I think I have about the same size on both screens, right? I'm very impressed by the final singularity. His uh, his coding size, you can read it on your phone. I can read it on my phone. <laughs> my eyes are not the best anymore. <laughs> um, so, most of the exploits will have a preset default payload. However, you can always show payloads list them. And that's what I just learned. So we need to have this in our in our notes. Um so after we set it, you will use um, uh, exploit can have um, different payloads. Uh, Show payloads. To list. Oh. And we know that there can be over a thousand. So. Uh, once you have decided on a payload, you can use a set payload command. Hmm. 
What? Let's just see whatever is. There. I assume it works the same as the other one. You can actually type it if you are l really love typing along strings <laughs> uselessly. Um, so did you show options of it? Uh, not that choosing a uh, working payload could become a trial and error process due to environmental or OS restrictions such as firewall rules and the virus, file writing um, or other program. Performing the payload execution isn't available. Um, okay, so maybe it requires stuff we don't they don't have. Um, some payloads will open new parameters that you may need to set. Yeah, running the show options command once more. I can show these. As uh, you can see in the above example, a reverse payload will at least require you to set a L host option. Of course. And here it, it does check it. Well, this one first. Uh, once the session is open, you can background it using or abort it using control C. Welcome. Working in more than one target simultaneously. Uh, or also different shells or exploits on the same one. Working sessions. But they mentioned this before. But now they list all the help, okay? Okay. So you can run the command on all sessions. That's interesting. So if you want to run the same thing, you can do it. If you have 10 different machines, you can run the same command. So this is like a tool for multitasking and searching data so far. As row search filter. So C and C. So meter Peter command or command, that's the difference. Y D to list in active sessions. Interact with a supply session, terminate session, or arrange list active sessions. Mm -hmm. Rename, quiet mode, 
run a script or module on a session. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. Upgrade a shell to a meter predecessor session on many platforms. You. So, what kind of shell? List all active sessions in verbose mode. Okay. Extended information. Yeah, session ranges. So dashes and commas. Exploit one of the critical vulnerabilities on the target VM. Nice. So it's not like do this, do this. Mm. We got FTP file last time. A flag. So, did we already do this? So I'm almost done with the food. Sorry, I have to eat. <laughs> oh my, it's already been almost two hours. <laughs> Let's just look at the notes, by the way, because I guess it's in here. I'm just curious. I don't remember much. Yeah, this is when we tested the info. And this is all of the text almost. <laughs> yeah, we got this. This was the FTP flag that we haven't done the question for. Oh my, sorry. Oh ho ho.
So, let's go back. So, um, what is the NTLM hash of the password of the user pirate? So, <laughs> that's a good question. So if we could look back and look at these questions, what did we have up here? Yeah, this was a SMB password. Yeah, and we got that from the scan and this we had to run normal, F, uh, normal Nmap for. So I was trying to do everything in this, you know. Um, and this one has another machine, right, and this is what we started, I think we started this one, so let's, let's stop this one and start this one instead. <coughs> so while it starts, I'll do a quick bottom break, I'll be right back. Um, I actually got my, this shirt is just below the arm, 
And I'm all red on this side, so I'm going to look for a more comfy shirt. So the style of that shirt was that it was like rolling at the bottom and I've been having it all day. <laughs> that never happened before though. Uh, I'll just see if I have some something for the skin. This maybe. That's funny, I've been moving around and then when I sit down with this uh, There Stings, <laughs> you know So <sighs> So, let's continue <clears throat> So we started this one, and uh, yeah, let's do what we just was suggested to do a map to the database. Um, maybe we should even make a new one and practice that too. So if we look at our notes, we have the database bit here. So. Uh, we can delete one workspace and make a new one. And we can do db status. So if we go back first and then we do db status and then we do workspace. Just to check everything here and then we do workspace dash d uh, yeah type complete so now it deleted and switch to default so if you now do workspace a track then we have a new one with the same name uh, so if you now do db underscore nmap it should nmap to that one and their suggested one if I remember correctly was just SV so I see we should use that now too and they did it on all parts on our new IP is uh, trying to tap on the wrong machine uh, it is oh I'm going to sneeze hmm 10, 10, 175, 4. Hmm. And I'm really feeling, you know, the after lunch tiredness. <laughs> So we're just waiting for the end map, um, but let's plan ahead a bit. So results are saved to the database, and we can run hosts and services. Hosts are populates our hosts. <clears throat> so we can do what we just did. Let's see. Uh, if we scroll up. All oh, right, we just remove the history. Uh, so 
let's look here instead if we have something here this is the adding of the date of the the workspace and i'm thinking i might have missed to add something to the notes or didn't i because we also added notes up here about the payload I think it maybe it's just just the services to list them we'll see no I think I missed something so let's look at the page again uh, with the instructions And map is done. So works page H. This is the end map, and then we did hosts and yeah, just services. Let's list them all. But then there's just nothing more. I'm. We manually read zero this. Says, Maybe in map SC SVP NV IP address. I use that in engagements. Yeah, that's what I usually use too. But now I'm using there. There's, uh, so it itched in my fingers to add SC <laughs> to. Um, I'm not much for the verbose bit though. <laughs> but maybe it's good to have. Um, let's just see. You see, I, I used their, their one here. Um, so hosts give this, services give this, and after this, we, we added this, but we didn't actually use the, the services in something. Uh, we could search in it with s that's it maybe i should add this bit uh, that we can search in it too that's that's probably what i was like thinking that i missed something this is it i think yeah so let's add this too uh we can search in mm. And if we have several hosts, that's where I can see the use of this. And this is just a... Oh my. That's so annoying. I'll just have to shift paste there. So we can search for something like that. And now we kind of know uh, what we're looking for. So first, let me show you our results of the end map. It's this. <coughs> um, so we have okay. Uh, Oh my goodness! Oh. Trying to wake up from this after lunch coma. So I'm going to go back to... Uh, I don't remember what the questions were. Uh, but I remember that... Well, maybe we should save their suggestions too. Or maybe it's just obvious. <laughs> Though, this is actually something I've never heard of, so um, let's, let's copy this to the notes. <clears throat> Concentration is going to sleep, D. Yeah, it, it got food and it got kind of wanted a nap after his food, right? Maybe that's the natural human way, but we're fighting it. We're fighting it. Uh, 
<laughs> so uh, I'm just le leaving that there for now. I'll probably go through these notes and make them more readable or whatever. So now, um, what else did we do? Search and info and show payloads. We selected the payload. Yeah. Uh, I'm really feeling unfocused right now. I'm like out this air, in this air, out that one. Or, you know, with eyes, it doesn't sound as good with eyes. Um, so, uh, uh, we can just click this one. We can look at the hint if we don't, we don't find anything. It's not much on it, but we have this, this hint. Um, hmm. um, well, we know what, what ports there are. But how could we use, how should we search? So, you're welcome to come with suggestions and help me learn things. So we have RPC, so like crazy obvious, they trying to tell us go search for RPC or you're an idiot like, but What more? If we just search RPC, we would get like a million things, but no? Oh, I'm typing on the wrong page, so it's just jumped down. Um, <clears throat> when I switch the screen, I kind of think that my mouse or my attention, my act active App is switched. Like Maybe we try auxiliary <laughs> slash scanner slash SMB slash SMB MS seventeen O one O. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause we just did that, or cause you see something that's very obvious. To me, this is not like obvious SMB. Since I'm you just... have 445 port open, we can try and check for eternal blue. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. But I'm thinking like, it's like the big pointing finger to RPC with all these ports, don't you think? We can, we can do it. It's good practice, if nothing else. So let's, let's do eternal blue again. I could just arrow up for it, though. And well, I can do use zero because it's the top one again, right? Yeah, again, and then it definitely automatically, and then we do using the database now. Uh, I'm trying not to look at the notes. Uh, hosts are. Yes. Um, and then we we can look at options just to look at it. And the Rs is there, 445 is there. And um, yeah, let's just run. It's likely vulnerable, yeah. So then the question is, okay, it will it will succeed, I think.
This is slow. It's not this slow usually, right? Now I want to read the code for this. Will it try forever? I I, I kind of believe in that pointing arrow hand, Shitty. you know? Mm, let's see. Um... Let's double check if we had something off here, but I don't think so. This is the right IP. And it found it, vulnerable. Um, but we didn't set our IP. So, uh, there's nothing to connect to, because we didn't set our information. Oh, <coughs> so. And set G L host is it equals there, right? Ten, eighteen, twenty-one, two hundred thirty-six. I'm kinda sure. Yeah. Um <sighs> I have to sheet L port <clears throat> and let's oh, we could have done four 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 but you know well then I would use four four three and <laughs> I think that was what I was using. Um uh, so, set G. Payload options haven't changed. L port. Host. Translated from German. It didn't change? Okay. Um, did I, did I type it wrong? Is it just space? Yeah, it's just space. So, there. Thank you. I need a bit of help now, I feel. My brain is falling asleep. <laughs> what a good excuse. Uh, it's, it's true. <laughs> I'm winning over it slowly, I think. Uh, so, we're setting this thing globally, too. Yeah, and I was I was going to do space, but then I did. Maybe it's equals. Mm. These are the syntax things. So let's look at it again. And now we have both sides actually filled in, and then we can. And I arrow up for three letters. So I pressed arrow up four times to get find the three letters to run it. Already in use. Okay. So yeah, right. It doesn't want one. It has to do it itself. That's annoying. The port doesn't matter as much as it will use Metasploit for callback. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I didn't think of that. I should have just started it. I'm not used to using it, but when I saw that I remembered, you know, so now it worked when we actually had uh, the right IP. Very odd not getting any callbacks to whatever IP that was. Yeah, that's the non-VPN one. Um, wrong network. I'm just reading it. Windows 7. 
And we still have the Windows XP machine to, to look at. I'm thinking we can do, use this and try to find. I don't know if it can do Eternal Blue on older operating systems. Can it do it or is it just like Windows 7? Um, but I'm sure there are other things. So, if we do sessions now, we could do... Uh, From personal experience, the Eternal Blue can crash the host, so I try to migrate to another process ASAP. It's a good practice as well. Okay, okay. So... Uh, so you don't have to use it again then, because you're in the system then. Um, I have to look at my notes, because I don't remember the... Or... Uh, let's, let's see here. I think sessions should list the sessions, right? No, we're already in there. We didn't do the C, C things. Okay, okay, we're already in there. Um, so I'm, I can do all of the things like connecting there. Hmm. Uh, and I don't currently care much about their questions. I just want to learn things. So, but their questions, we found a critical one. Uh, yeah, there, and we could probably find some kind of flag. And then we have this question. So this is what I was thinking of too. So what what would be your first step? I'm thinking your name here. Is it like Ekichiro? Ekichiro? <laughs> um, my brain is trying to get the zero into... Like, it sounds Japanese. <laughs> Enumerating uh, the host to get more view of the environment. Yeah, so... Uh, I mean, just... You were s saying that you want to... Um, um, migrate to an other process ASAP. That's what I was thinking. Um... I have to close my phone. There. Um, so let's let me do the help. Is there ah, is it not help, migration. right? I can't quite remember the command. Maybe help and we can check? Yeah, yeah. That's funny when, when people say things that I just did. Um, but you were probably typing, you know, before. Um. So you mean that it can do it? Migrate. So is this what you mean? The migrate one? I have to learn how to use this in a smart way and it has stuff, you know, that I have no clue that it exists. Yes, so migrate, but we need a process ID first. Okay. So if we had help on this, we would see that we need an argument then. Uh, let's let's just go to it. So. <clears throat> right, are we like in the file system now? We can ls. I'm really not used to this. It's kind of odd. Feel feels odd. <laughs> uh, pry. Read. Run scripts. Uh, 
Jesus, right. Maybe try PS same as in PowerShell. PS. Um, I'm just quickly checking. But this is kind of a long list. So this is file system. Then we have networking. Then we have system. So yeah, PS would be in the system bit. So PS exists. And then user interface commands. So you're thinking that we should do the migrate thing before we list things in case it crashes. So that, then we will we will do it the like real way, you know, instead of their way. Um, so now we have lots of processes, um, though they don't tell me very much. Though some things. Um, <clears throat> Defrag, defrag. Um. Check what user you are in as. Um, I'm trying not to use any commands here before we can do what you said. Uh, so... I'm assuming I can do like who am I? But I wanna know... We can do the shell, which would make it everything, you know, easier, right? <laughs> So then we have a shell. Um, but if we're trying to do the migrate thing first, UUID. Core commands. This is so long to scroll through. Well, let, let's let's try the UUID, and that's this. <laughs> oh my! Should just try typing who am I and see if I if that exists. I can just try things, but it doesn't exist. Yeah. Um. <laughs> get system. These get things it or are. Get it. it was one of them too. I think. Haha. -ha. <laughs> okay. So I was kind of close. So get and get process identifier is a PID. And then we have get UID, I think it is then. <clears throat> Yay, it's the right one. And we're, as I kind of assumed, <laughs> um, they always get anti authority system from Eternal Blue, right? I think so. Um, I'm kind of thinking of Alice in things, but I want to try your thing, you know, the process. So. If we pretend that, that we couldn't just restart this with a quick one minute wait, <laughs> uh, but it will be lost forever if we if we don't do it the right way. Uh, yeah. So, but how would we do the migrate? Now that's that's my what I'm waiting for. So. 
Um, you said we need... Uh, let, let's, let's do the help for the migrate, right? Uh, or just do migrate and it will say what we need. We need a PID. So if we do help on it, we didn't get much more. No, we got exactly the same thing. So, do you have any uh, suggestion? Ikichiro. I'm trying to say it. I don't know how you want it said. <laughs> well, now you can migrate pretty much anywhere, B. 684. So, I migrate just have to see. 684 to try inject into Shast. I'm just curious now if, if the TTS actually mutes. Uh, if it actually mutes when I'm talking, no, I don't think so. Because then I would see a different text there. Uh, let's see here. I'm just scrolling in the TTS. It didn't scroll down as it's supposed to. Uh, so why 684? Because it's it's a very common pin. <laughs> Oh uh, no, I'm very more curious. What are these? P pids and pids. Well, this is 684, 588. Mm hmm. Oh, you can't 684. Sorry, haha. -ha. So. Do you do like anything like this, for example? Is there what what should I look for? What's the aim? Pid, try into Shast. Yes, was the one I suggested. Oh my, I, I clicked somewhere else. Uh, what was it this one? Like 2916? I was looking Pid, not Pid, my mistake. Mm-hmm. So, uh, let's, let's try 2916 then. Uh, does it matter also which user it is? Because uh, this is not ours, you know, this is something called anti-authority local service. Maybe that's not a good one then. We can do this one instead. 21 of 4. Now let's just, let's just try it. 2,104 seems fine. Hmm? Uh, 21 of 4. And there's nothing else but a timeout. Error. Okay, so we're kind of old. <laughs> that was long, long, long old stuff. Long gone. So... Let's try something that's still existing. <laughs> um, fail, X is denied.
2588. Oh, so I took the one I was actually. <laughs> oh, I was actually using 2588. Trusted installer. Let's do it. Access is denied. So, <laughs> the one I, I selected, the spool, and it didn't. <laughs> That's the one we were. <laughs> so, uh, how important is it to do this stuff? Okay, so we got no permission as system D. Interesting indeed. Yeah, because uh, when we looked at this one it says our username is and the third assistant you know so well let's just try one of these yeah we totally scrambled our history here oh we have so many files um, yeah, I thought so. We must be in System 32. Um, which is kind of, I guess, logical with the, this. Um, so, if we do the shell one, then we get to a shell, I assume. Let's just try some other stuff. Uh, and this is... This is a normal CMD shell line. Okay, so not partial. Um, so I assume... Just do a test here. Yeah, so we need to dare stuff. And I did it again. And we're a DOS, we don't have to space the CD dot <laughs> uh, Forcing my fingers to do dear instead For of PowerShell, LS. PowerShell, you need low PowerShell and then PowerShell shell. Yeah, but we can do it here, you know. We need to be flexible, right? So, and we're not case sensitive because it's DOS. So, Fixerbot says, new follower Ron Ivy. Less than three. Welcome in, Ronnie. <laughs> um. So, gosh, I have to think about typing dear instead of ls all the time. I know I could switch, <laughs> but I'm thinking. Let's look at the desktop here. Nothing there. Um, and also, I, I had a partial command just to list all the text files, all the flag.txts uh, from last time I was just looking for that. <laughs> uh, so that will be easier. It's I don't remember how to do it. Uh, I should know this, you know. I should know com normal command from. Uh, public that's nothing right so um if we were to exit this we would go back to the other one and i'm thinking maybe we would have problems going back but i don't know is there no chance to do the migrate thing now when we fail or is it just random because you mentioned it so i would like to try it Exit is denied. Um, well, I, I'd love more tips on, on how to do it. So can we just PowerShell? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but we didn't get a pretty one. 
PowerShell shell. So um so if we shell again then we try your version to load powershell instead of powershell no it didn't do, it can't do load uh, all right sorry um Echo cheer zero, you says. Run okay. it from meter for the show. Okay, okay. Um, I'm just looking here at the, the files, but okay. So if we do load PowerShell here. Okay, and then I have to scroll up in the chat. Uh, power shell shell. <gasps> okay. Oh, typing on the wrong screen again. So. Um. Let's let's copy this. So Right. I'm just looking for my notes, see if I can find it. Yeah. So do we know the it's flag, right? So we can just do like my Since sometimes you can't edit it, which I don't think I can now, maybe. Uh, it's nice to have the whole thing dashed there, you know. So. There it is. Oh, it was in the documents. I looked at the desktop only. So, um, I don't like this prompt. It wasn't very good. It still, it died. Yeah. Reason died. So, well, We can just run it again, of course. I don't think the sessions was a little rare. We could, I could have looked. I should have looked, I guess. And I'm saying I'm not as tired. <sighs> <sighs> I 
guess I could control C this, right? So, no, it's suspending it all. Mm. Goaku says. Hi. Dick. Translated from Dutch. <laughs> oh, I'm not tired at all. I'm. Hi. Oh. Translated from German. <laughs> Fixerbot says. <laughs> Time to move. Yeah. It Go Five for table push ups redeemed. It. I actually removed the high jumps for today because my back is a bit bad. But that's a good, good opportunity to move a bit. Ekich here, zero, you says. Did the host crash? It's possible. We'll see. But we have to try to reconnect before. Goaku says. We need a stretch for one minute, redeem. <laughs> for one minute? Okay, stretch. Should I put in a stretch there? Stretching helps the back. Oh, but it's it's car crash back back problems, not no stretching back problems. <laughs> so car crash not Yeah, like this. someone just drove out before the red lights. They had red lights, they drove anyway. Not much you can do, you know. Just breaks <laughs> as much as you can but it wasn't like it wasn't good for my back otherwise it was okay um, but it was 20 years ago so and I just said an x-ray that apparently my 7th and 8th ones are kind of squished so yeah <laughs> very very not good but I don't think I can like fix it <laughs> unfortunately we should be able to fix it Right. Um, so no jumps today. <laughs> uh, I lifted a too heavy thing at work too. Someone came with posts, you know, and th they just gave me a package and Thank it was you for too being heavy. <laughs> yeah, being healthy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's being healthy. Well, I started the stream talking about martial arts. <laughs> We'll see if we can get there. Uh, triggering fail. Completed menu session was created. And possibly, you know. Um, we know what the flag is though. <laughs> we didn't know it before. I could have just looked around manually in the files and not made it have to work by checking all the files <laughs> um, directories so it's been up almost an hour uh, let's let's just do before this let's do sessions and we have no active sessions um, and let's just Say bye bye. Um, and I guess this is a. It's a thing to learn, right? This is not as stable as a normal, your normal shells you do, right? When you use one of those exploits. But I would like to do the eternal blue without using. Uh, I don't like meta splice, sorry, but I like doing things manually. I this is far sense. from manually. <laughs> this is why Eternal Blue is bad. One wrong command in yeah. the host is kaput. Yeah. D. Yeah, so. It might just be that export, and it might also be that I don't feel I have any control, you know, over what it's doing, really. Um. Because if, if I like googled for something and found some exploit and 
it had some Python script where I read the code and checked what it's doing and run that and I know what it's doing. <laughs> so different, different team. Uh, we have a new IP. Uh, so let's do options. This is the good practice. I'm learning that that's what I'm supposed to type. And then we know to need a set. Let, let's do set G now. Um, because what we did before was the scan. You can try uploading from re PowerShell reverse shell if you prefer PowerShell. I think so, because it's more modern, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, I would prefer a Unix like shell, thank you. <laughs> Can't we switch the box operating system? <laughs> Oh, PowerShell, I guess it's 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 easier because it's more modern. Sorry, sorry, haha. -ha. <laughs> uh, so set G and um, uh, our hosts, our hosts with an S on the end. And then the new IP is ten, ten. 65, 205, and then I want to check the options. I don't want the old ones to be the old one to be there, and then all the one we got from the database. So the database is useless now because it's the old IP. Um, um well, did I typo it? Let's remove the G. Now it did it. What did it do after the other one? It did the same thing. And then, right after. Is this because this is locally set and this is globally? And we have overwritten the, the local one already. Yeah, I think, I guess that's it, because we had set this value locally, the global one didn't work as it should. We have the same IP, it's the same part. So if we run it again, uh, and please, if you know a way to, uh, for this migration thing, but we might have just messed up the machine to write. I don't know exactly how this exploit works, but it's saying it's overriding things. <laughs> um, and it's saying it's not vulnerable. And it's been up for four minutes. So, um, maybe we should just clean out some old trash. It's using the right IP. So that's that far. Um, I, I guess I should just uh, practicing all these new commands and typing them, not arrowing up. And if we do workspace. G, uh, try hack me, which rhymes so beautifully. We just get rid of all that old data. And we should only have a global one since we went out back. So hopefully the IP should be at a minute we set if we go in there again. Um, should we do the workspace thing, which it just seems to mess things up though, but uh, let's A it again, just for, uh, and then we do DB, and I'm kind of used to things just popping up, you know, last command used, that's a good one. I, I've gotten so used to it, though it's, for me it's very new. Um, 
so DD and map. using their command and I'm taking the opportunity to check the IP is correct so okay Um, I think it kind of crashed <laughs> before and now it's kind of, hello there, we have to check that this still works, we can actually even restart it because it's two seconds, just typing the, um, there. No, did I type too fast? Too fast. I had to try and do it in two seconds. <laughs> uh, oh. Browbeats 2 says, Hello, fix it equals. Hello, welcome in, Browbeats. Unfortunately, we're not doing web stuff, but maybe you got lots of tips on this too. Um, we're playing with Metasploit, I'm learning here, so, though I'm not really friends with it. Sorry, still at work, see just <laughs> okay. lurking in here. Yeah, yeah, thank you for lurking, you're working. I do that a lot too. <laughs> um, so, I'm thinking, let's restart, restart the whole thingy. And this is interesting to see now if we do DB status now without starting anything. What will it say? It is still connected because the database was started. Um, sorry, wrong typing on the wrong thing. So if we can go to the notes and just um, shake this bit. What we're supposed to do. Uh, we started this outside there. We did this outside. Let us light. And then uh, we did DB status in there. And then we just selected the workspace, which is not really needed because it's the default there. So that's also a necessary step. So just having it started outside is enough for it to work, meaning we don't have to do anything again. It's already done. Um, but we can look at workspace to make sure that uh, wrong type in the wrong place. So workspace uh, should still give us both, but we have switched defaults uh, since the Troy Hackme one was created in this database. The database is the same, so that's logical. So if we, if we just do, uh, just a normal end map. Uh, okay, that was different. So uh, what's to see first? Um, I have to tab on my computer to see the IP. 10, 10, 65, 35. We don't need all parts for it to see if it's alive. <laughs> and then thinking. <sighs> So we did restart it here, but we doesn't seem to have been waking up. So I guess we'll just do it again. Not terminating it. There's nothing on the end map. It's just
I'm curious how the DBN maps work too. Let's just update the page or something here so we have a fresh page. I'm just waiting a bit too. Why do we have keep having this one here? You know, it's not like it's as new. Do we have to click clear? I've never even looked at that. So, Um, let's just, uh, as soon as we have the IP, uh, we can do options here. No, we can't because I didn't click twice. So, global options. Nothing is set so far. So, let's set our IP first. <clears throat> set to G L host uh, 10 18 21 and should this be in this list it is not at least and then we have set our hosts ten ten eighty two fifty two there <coughs> and then I'm <coughs> Oh, so let's do workspace. Let's delete the triacne. Because I don't think <coughs> we got anything into there, but we did try to scan, so... Uh, so now when we add that, it will switch automatically to... So now if we search, I'm getting more comfortable. So these, this is not wasted time, you know, when I fail. Because the commands are getting more natural. Um, search for... Should we try eternal again? We, we have seen it work, so I'm going to try to... Now let's first do the nmap, the db nmap. Again. And I guess... I will use there. Come on. With all the parts, there were several parts there with the higher ones. So ten dot ten dot eighty two dot fifty two, and I imagine it's had it has three minutes and a half now to start. Though it is a Windows <laughs> machine. Um, Fingers crossed, or whatever you say. 
In Sweden we hold our thumbs. I don't know if it's if I'm more tired in the morning or if I'm more tired after lunch actually. I'm thinking all this bright light should wake me up. Yeah, and this is a uh, old force scan, so just some patience. Um Let's look at this again and do some repetition. So... We can search, we can get info, we can run it using run or exploit. We can show the payloads in the exploit. Because what they call exploit is a group of them apparently it could be up to thousand. And we can set payload. I have not yet done that. So we got all the parts again. And it's, I'm I'm seeing that hand pointing, well, like two hands pointing at RPC here. So I'm thinking we should search for that now. We know that um, we know that the other stuff works. Uh, RPC. I imagine we'll get hundreds with a search. Should we do Windows too? Maybe. I'm just scrolling down the page. Oh, maybe we should have gotten that uh, uh, flag TXT first, but we'll see. But these have only Windows, right? I don't really get how the search works. I don't really get how it works, because lots of times it seems like the lines are not like all there. I mean, there are not hits in them, just one of the words. Sorry for being tired. Oh, I'm almost falling asleep. I just didn't think of anything there. Um, that's that's the first time I was dreaming. I was just going like. <laughs> um, so.
Well, that seemed interesting to me. What was the number? So these are AKA names. Oh, sorry. Mm. I definitely remember that number one. <laughs> Fixerbot says, <laughs> time to move it, move it. Okay. Five table push-ups redeemed. <laughs> well, you can, you have three, right, active? You can do them if you want to. Um. Goaku says, <laughs> I will do 10 push-ups now. Cool, cool. Okay, I'll, I'll join you. Uh, I was just looking for the one that I didn't find. So, ah, my chair is in the way. <laughs> there. So, um. Seven. There. <laughs> oh. Maybe we should stand a bit. Oh, look, I have some more. I have honey fresh. Well, my throat is not really hard in construction, <laughs> unfortunately. Maybe a little bit. So, did you do 10 actual ones or did you do table ones as well? I did. <laughs> I listed 10 table push ups. Um, 10 let's... floor push ups. Yeah, good, good. Uh, I don't really have space. <laughs> That's why they're table ones. And you wouldn't be able to see me either. Um, I did, re I did um, think that the number was 61, but apparently nah. Cause it didn't seem like that later. Was it in the start somewhere? I'm doing ten more. I'm used to push ups because of martial arts. Oh cool. I talked about martial arts at the start of, of stream. <laughs> um I would like to get started again. <laughs> But we'll see. 
We'll see. Um, my back was a bit of a mess, I guess. <laughs> but I really believe in the training, you know, is good for your body, so... Yeah, so maybe I did look at another number. Yeah, it's not this number, because that's just part of the MS number. So it's 174, that's this one. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just testing stuff now. So if we do this, that I've never seen before or heard of. Um, so, um, Fixerbot says, Let's look at new follower Sonny TD, less than three. Welcome in, Sonny TD. <laughs> Goaku says, I'm trying to do pull ups, but a friend of mine said to do rows with dumbbells to have stronger upper body. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, why not do pull ups? <laughs> I think it's very cool if, if you can, you know, do that in a good way. Uh, sometimes I, I look at this Norwegian YouTuber that's a climber. And he pull ups are harder a lot of because challenge. you're lifting your own body weight. Yeah, yeah. So of course you need a level of fitness before you can do that, of course. So but you can just do you don't have to do have to do it all. You can also do like let's say on the edge of the bed here and you can <laughs> You know, don't do all the way. You can have your legs on the ground for, when starting and have one of these bar across the door or something. So you can just build up to it with a helping as little as possible with your legs, you know. Just, you, you can just use your body for most things. Unless you're not heavy enough <laughs> to be a challenge for yourself. Uh, we have this training machine I bought lots of years ago. It's, I think it's called Total Gym 1000 or something. Then you really use your body weight to pull stuff. So then you can just raise the angle when you think it's too light. <laughs> That's kind of a nice thing. I think it still works, right? <laughs> it's just a mess to pull it out in the living room and back again to the corner. So, But we used it more when the kids were tinier. <laughs> Mm. Maybe I should do some training there too. Anyway, martial arts is what I love, you know. <laughs> it's just annoying when your body doesn't cooperate with you and <laughs> don't want to do the same things, really. Um. So what martial arts are you training? Um, yeah, you're on the screen, I'm on the screen, I was typing info and didn't read a thing, so let's do that. <clears throat> we can just try and run this, of course. Mm, we should also do says, options. New follower floating in Bobacy. Less than three. Welcome in, and I'll do my best to pronounce the name. Flocking in Babasi. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Thanks so much for the sub Flocking in Babasi. Less than three. Thank you. Flocking in Babasi says. Father's a Floki. <laughs> oh. Father's Floki. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, so, I was going to, I think, check the information here if it's correct, and it seems to be correct, so. Uh, checking the IP. So let's run this. I have no clue if this is possible or not. Nah. 
So, Goaku exploit says, completed, but no session was created. Loki, translated from German. So that's what the name means, is it? What's a Floki? Flokin in Babasi says. Nope. <laughs> okay, you can explain it if you want to. You don't have to. Uh, but you're very welcoming here. <laughs> Vikings um, character. Okay, okay. Oh. Yeah. You Are you a Viking? <laughs> or are you like... I'm Swedish, you know, so... <laughs> Turkish <laughs> version Swedish floating Viking. in Babasi. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. <laughs> um, If Vikings is like a TV series that I think I've heard that there exists one, I have not seen anything of that, so... <laughs> oh, sorry. Um... Uh, so we got let's let's read the message here. Uh, binding do, 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 do. exploit aborted due to failure. X is denied. <laughs> so we get X is denied. So let's do the one that we know works again. And uh, let's um, search for eternal blue and I assume that it is zero I don't want to scroll again uh, use spelled correctly is probably necessary though <laughs> yeah it's the right one so let's let's look at options and see uh, we have the right IP of the machine and the part, of course. And then we have our IP. Um, so if we run this, and there's the uh, photo to repeat the, the commands that are available. Um, and I'm kind of assuming this will work now. Because it did before for the new people and then the machine totally crashed so uh, there um, so we did load powershell and then we did PowerShell underscore shell. And that was not very successful. So what worked better was shell. And we now we already know where the file is. And it is in users and John and documents and here the file is supposed to be because and we are in DOS or in command prompt so let's type flag.txt so let's take this number and pop it over here <clears throat> Let's look at the hints here too. What was the hint they wanted? Yeah, so we're on the right vulnerability. <laughs> and oh, there's a search. I'll have to look at the search command. This is why I'm reading the, the hints after I have done the things, because there might be useful information. So I run a PowerShell search, file search, and it crashed. So if we could have used a, a, 
lighter. Come on, to do this. Or it might just have crashed anyway, but... Um... Kitty says. <sighs> Did you know you can't hum if you hold your nose? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Couldn't you? Depends on how much air you, you want, of course. <laughs> I think it worked. <laughs> I can't always shocks me, haha. -ha. <laughs> okay. I did try though. It's like the thing do you know people you can't you can't lick your elbow and everybody tries, you know? That kind of thing. But I tried and it worked. <laughs> It worked. So, everybody, no one listens anymore. Everybody's trying to lick their own elbows and hum with their holding their nose. Uh, so, <laughs> the next question also that we need to have in mind are. What is the NTLM, uh, NTLM hash of the password of the user pirate? And I am so lost in Windows, seriously. Uh, I have clues, but I need I help. I almost can. When people would tell me, I would say, oh, really, then get maybe one centimeter away, noiki one cry. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know there are people that can do it. So you're, you have one of these very flexible tongues. And the rest of your body, probably. You know, Nori, I still haven't seen you, actually. You know? <laughs> you told the security live once that you were going to stream with a camera. Do you remember that? <laughs> you kind of promised us. You kind of promised us. I think it was almost a year ago now. Because it was when I was just starting to hang out there. <laughs> You don't have to. You don't have to. But I would like to see that elbow thing, you know? I want to see it. That idea went out the window long time ago. No <laughs> one cry. Okay. Your decision. No pressure. I'm just curious to see. I'm like far from it. Um. So... <laughs> Um, where should I look for this? Should we search some kind of thing? And the ALM password hash. I'm assuming we should use the tool we have, right? So we have this file. We have access to the file system. I imagine we could just get any data and um, I know there are <laughs> data there of course since it's all there um, but I don't know exactly how to get to it and I also don't want to push this poor machine that's already crashed at least once because we restarted it and didn't wake up so, do we count that one or not? Um. <laughs> we could get here again if we don't find anything. Though we could also just... If we now do... Like, just being in the right window. Uh, if we background this, we can do other stuff, right? Or do I have to do capital N? Because I should do yes. So, yeah, we want to background it. Um, 
so I really wanted to background this one too, but it, of course, in steps. Um, yes. So now we're back here. So if we type it back, not cd dot dot. Which is the intuitive thing, right? We don't want to move in the file system, we want to move in MSF console. Then we search for um, uh, NTLN. Yeah, and I'm thinking there are these things I can use running sessions, right? So let's first just look at sessions. My god, I can't spell. So we have our session running here. Um, so if we search for NT. Hate handle says. LM. Zero slash LM. Hi. Hi, welcome in. Is it hate handles? I asked you before, but you'd never replied, I think. <laughs> I don't want to say it wrong. If you meant something more nice. Correct, lol. <laughs> yeah, okay, hey Donald. Um, so I think you, cause there you had- There are now wrong answers. <laughs> yeah, you had like H at handles too, right? Was that on YouTube or something? No, it was the Discord, I think. I, I have to remove one of the Discords I have before I can join though. <laughs> so uh, I'll have to have time to look at that. I have removed all the easy ones. On Discord. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's see now. Uh search and uh, password. Uh, hash is this a very long crazy thing? I'm just trying to learn this, you know, so you YouTube should be H eight handles and probably a description of why I chose it. Okay, okay, cool. I'll look at that later. <laughs> uh, so... Um... This was a short list. Will Dumb I highlight patches. that without the at symbol 0, 0.0? Uh, it highlighted that. Okay, oh! Okay, yeah, yeah, it, I think it, if you just mentioned it, highlights it too, so yeah. Um, it's kind of funny when, when you're, you know, looking at your own screen, trying to, like, highlight or something. Um, so... Correct Windows, Windows Secret Stomp. Let's let's try this number seven one. Um yeah, not U seven then. U seven. <coughs> yeah. This is exactly what we already have. A session on an R host. So uh, let's look at options and uh, session. So all the sessions, how should we identify it? Sessions just with a number one, is that it? So if we do uh, set uh, session oh set session one will this work uh, anyway this is useful one I'm learning but I still want to know how to do this manually 
and I don't. <laughs> um, but I think I've seen it. Um, let's look at options again. And now we have a zero here. Metasploit. Woo woo everyone's first C2. <laughs> Can do some wild stuff when you start to do custom payloads, etc. That's my current hell, but not MSF. Okay, because uh, I did the first room on Troy Hack Me with this, and then I haven't used it for months. And now I'm trying, I'm following the path, you know, of the complete beginner. <laughs> and this is in there. So uh, I'm trying to be convinced that this is useful. That's what I'm trying to do. And learn it, because I want to know everything, even if it's not useful. <laughs> ha ha. Translated from Tagalog. Oh, now you know Tagalog too. It's That's kind of nice. Time. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I've still not found any use for it. We'll see if this is useful. But I wouldn't like to do it this way. You could just Google instead how to do it manually. Um, I'm I'm going to continue. So, um, just double checking here. Is the correct IP? Is the number of the session is there? Let's just try and run it. It's work with SMB. Um. Let's let's go back to the session. I think it's like a session. You can save loot and things in your database, I... keep track of in map scans and hashes, etc. It is a useful as you make it typically. I want to keep track of my things myself, not in a database though. <laughs> yeah. I I I I'm seeing a use for it if you have scanned a lot of machines and you're looking for a certain type of service data, then you could search for that. But still, why would you scan so many machines and yeah. When you are on a network with multiple machines, it gets rough, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that that's the only thing I've seen so far, because uh, and also, since I'm so such a noob, I want to know everything, how I do everything manually. And this is you know, to high level, I want to be more. But an anti no LMFAO, don't get me wrong. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Um, but I know Christy said that she uses it for. Yeah, stuff. She said she said pivoting first. Uh, well, we'll see what I learn if I learn useful stuff, and I'll have to use it to remember it too, right? So. We'll see. Uh, so let's see. The session is inco incompatible. So if we go to the session, and it has to be sessions, and it's nice to remind us of that. Um, and now I have started the shell here. Um, so I need help to find how I can get that shell back. Oh my! So if we do help. In a shell instead. So okay, so shell L nothing. So it's not here. Um So maybe this is not the right way to go. How would you do it? Oh, How would you do it great. this in chat? If you have used Chisel before it's night and day. But no post exploit stuff should work on a fully up to date defender. That's when the usefulness of it dies for me. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So this is the question. Hash on. And we're kind of supposed to use Metasploit, I guess, right? <laughs> but teach me different have an ways. interpreter session? Yes, yes. We have it here. 
Um, but it said it's the wrong type for the thing I was running. And this is Eternal Blue, and it's saying that it needs the SMB one. Type hash dump, I think. So just hash dump? Is it that easy? So if I look at these, it should say somewhere here in not networking system. Yeah, yeah. Um, we can just try too. Down there, a little. Here, hash dump. Okay, so I should really read all of these help <laughs> ones. Um, so they just ex assume us. So this is this is what we need for the last one. Um, I couldn't remember if it was dump hash or hash dump. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. This is very good to know. Um, and that's probably why they have it as an example. So, uh, so if you didn't have, if you wanted the same thing. Uh, the answer is cor incorrect. Uh, uh, yeah, let's... I could do the same with Mimicots. Yeah, how would you do it? Cause... No, this is wrong. To the 8C9A1. Oh, look. I, I missed the colon. I missed the colon. Sorry. I tried first with, but of course it's two there. Was this the other one? Hmm. There. So now let's look at the hint. Use hash dump, yeah. So uh, I solved this another way and then I looked at Don't feel it, bad. there's a search. I never remember which is which. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm learning. I'm new, so this was the first time for me. I think I'm not sure. <laughs> I think so. Um, so if we're at the right screen now, and we want to use the search command, let's do help search, because I didn't really explore this because I wanted to. It crashed before, you know. So I want to try it now. So. Uh, no help for search, try H, so okay, uh, so H, um, so let's say we want to find flag.txt, okay, then we do search F um, flag.txt. I found the file, but the machine crashed when I used it a uh, PowerShell command to search everything. <laughs> this is uh, the Mimicot's way web link. Cool. Let, let's let's do it. Let's just see if it can do this without crashing, because the other way crashed. That's a good comparison for the future. We can always restart it again for just the third time. So it is in documents. My way was quicker, it would have already found it, so maybe this is nicer way. Um, so I'm going to click oh, your link search here. search for file use PowerShell. Yeah, yeah, I, I did that, but it crashed. It crashed the machine. So if it would have been like a real machine, you know? Uh, and this one found it. If it didn't crash, it's better. Even if it's slower, it's better, you know, it doesn't crash the machine. Um, so, because it found That's it too. That's THM typical BS lol. <laughs> you think so? Because, uh, let me scroll up. Who was it that, I think, yeah, it's Iki, I don't know how to, is it, is it like Japanese, Ekichiru? Check how much RAM it has helped me with this and said that uh, this is usually crashes a lot with Eternal Blue. Okay, yeah, of course, it's a bad machine. I, I, I get that. I get that. Mm. But especially with the Eternal Blue, you kind of mess about around with the system. Or write stuff, right? 
Um, I don't know exactly how it works. Maybe I should dig into that too. Um, the older ones are rough, but new ones are fairly okay. Okay, okay. So yeah, how long? How old is this room? It is uh, nine hundred and twenty-seven days old. Uh, that's it. So if we do the same thing here, what that is that clock is bugged? BTW. Okay, okay. Maybe it's because no one cares <laughs> about exactly how old the room is. Uh, but I can imagine uh, so, so many things are bugged. I don't know if you were here when uh, uh, I couldn't terminate the machine. You know, the button didn't work. No, nothing. It was just... There, was it there was no button? I don't even remember. It's one of my, one of my old streams. So, cracking local... Okay, we don't want to crack them, we just want to find them. Extracting a copy. Yeah, so this is very interesting. Let, let's, let's do this. Yeah. Let's do this. This is good. Um, so, let's go back to this machine. And they are at the normal command prompt. So, let's do that too. So, we just shall. Uh, and we have the normal prompt. Might be painful over Metasploit, D. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, we can just do bits. We don't have to do it all. Um, yeah, so we read save HLM some file name. And then we get a file. Okay, security. To. And then we need a tool or getting the files. We can just. How big are the files? Copy of Mimicots should be in Kali at slash user slash share slash Windows binary slash. Okay, okay. Oh, well, this is a good test, you know, even if it's Metasploit. <laughs> or I could do it all outside of Metasploit. We have a box that is vulnerable to Eternal Blue. Uh, I think I might have done this outside of Metasploit 2, but I don't remember. If I did, it was long ago. <laughs> but, you know, we could just do it without it. Eternal right. Blue without Metasploit is not fun. It's not fun. <laughs> so that's why everybody uses Metasploit for this thing. Okay, because it's so buggy, I guess. Or big possibility to crash. I think I read about it, but it was so long ago. It was ago. an exploit developed by the NSA. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay, let, let's skip that. We, we can just do the first bit here and see how long... How far we'll go. So, if we read, save. Um, I don't think this is case sensitive, but let's go for it. HK... Uh, L M <coughs> uh, some uh, some <laughs> okay. Let's do go for bug up. Oh, they're going for uh, eight or three names. No, they're not. <laughs> yeah, you could do this offline as well with web link. Okay, okay. Uh, let's just run these. We could just do several, you know. So, if we do this... Once you copy the SAM just and security file. file. Yeah, so you see, we get an error at once. We don't have the privilege. Uh, we couldn't switch processes either, though we're... You know... <laughs> Gotta be system. We're, and, yeah, we're system, and we still couldn't do it. Uh, so this is the kind of odd box, I guess. It's odd. <laughs> well, um, can you do her mind us? What process did you try to migrate to? Uh, several. 
Uh, we can do it again. So if we do, I think it's just PS and then do migrate and then you can suggest what you think yeah, I should can be try. Ready with low resource machines. Yeah, so what, what would you suggest us to do? <laughs> I tr tried this one and that's of course the one we already have. So, or of course and of course it is. <laughs> Um, there is a cmd.exe running as system. Yeah, okay. So let's go for 2852. That might be our own previous one though. Because I couldn't see... I, I don't know how to get back to the one I control c from. So it's probably just us. Should work. Okay, sure. Migrating. Um, so w the previous times we got an error message that we didn't have permissions. And now we got another error at least. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Um, we also got the error that the process didn't exist anymore because we were not quick enough, I guess. Um, do you have another suggestion what process we could try? We can do PS again in case it's updated stuff. Maybe it just died too. Did you say you have a backgrounded process you can't get back? Oof. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I think it died again. So let's, it managed to live for 50 minutes this time. Um, so I'm just restarting it on the other screen. Scrolling up here. My God, this is a long way. Uh, I'm not going to start it at once. Let's just give it a few seconds of down. <laughs> Because I think it might sometimes reconnect to the same one. What do you think? Because it didn't work still when we started it. So starting again. Like one minute countdown on IP. So everything we had is bye bye anyway there. So can we just do exit here? Yeah. Um. And this one didn't work and I back is the back <laughs> um so let's think about the manual um okay i had to switch this one said it has low battery I have these only for the TTS, you know, so we don't get an echo. Because if I use the speakers, I will get the echo for the TTS. It doesn't sound very nice. Um, so, uh, eternal blue. Uh, what should I do? Like, park? Oh my goodness. No space. Um... I guess we could have done like without Metasploit. I won't read aloud all the things there. This is a stupid hint for a machine that I didn't want to have. Annoying. I don't even remember if I started that one.
Oh, the only thing I wanted was uh, what was like a pie file. I don't like this place where they reveal things I don't want to know. Um, and it was slow. Fixerbot says. New follower welcome Mitsukuri. security. Mitsukuri, Less than three. Welcome in. Uh, so we're aiming for eternal blue without made us fight. So let's look at this one. Is it just doing meta spite? It is, alright. So let's um that was the second hit, I think, too. Uh, it's not much text. I should read it all there. So, none of us use her null session. Get more um, rest recruit on default setting of new Windows version to exploit Windows SMB without authentication. Below behavior should be a rare, very nice English. Since uh, Windows Vista default setting does not allow anonymous to access any name file. Since Windows 8 default setting does not allow anonymous to access IPC dollar share. Uh, IPC dollar might be accessible, but cannot so do much. A number requires uh, only access to IPC dollar to exploit the target while other exploits require access to name file 2. So the exploit always works against Windows less than 8. Null configuration if TCP. 445 accessible, however, it only has a chance to crash target higher than other exploits. And this is kind of what we <laughs> noticed and heard of. Requires access to name 5. So, blue, champion, there are different ones. Uh, the exploit has no chance to crash the target. Hey, says. Ak, seeing you use Metasploit made me test my shellcode runner. It worked with this, but I can't make Sliver work unskeptical. Okay. Um, I don't exactly know what Sliver is. It's like I heard a lot about it, but I can't place it. So please. <laughs> is it one of the the C twos? Ah, <sighs> so, um, where were I? Right here. Eternal Romans requires access to name pipe. It can exploit uh, can target Windows. It's a glorified wrapper of Metasploit, to be honest, lol. Okay, okay. Uh, because the bug uh, for info leak is fixed, uh, the exploit should have a chance to crash target lower than internal blow. I never test a reliable of the exploit. Synergy requires access to name pipe. And prevents this exploit modified from internal romance to target Windows 8 later. Drone Synergy uses another bug for info. You can do some trick to find executable memory. I don't know what works and doesn't read only output log and peek at file. So and these are the files. Uh Info about the bug. That could be interesting. So, this was kind of a big thing, right? Uh, 
as I started to be interested in this about a year ago. <laughs> it's quite a bit, a bit before my time there, but not before my IT time. <laughs> um, but I had like tiny kids then, so. Um, my oldest is born in 2008. And my youngest, 2010. So, I guess I'll try this one. Then we have these other versions. Um, but they require more things now. Yeah, so this just requires IPC dollar, and this requires access to name pipe, and this does not. So that's why I guess this is the thing. Checking time. Oh my god. <laughs> That means it's been four hours. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Last time I looked at the time, it was like 1.50, right? <laughs> time can't have passed that much. So I also want to look at the bug one though, so... Well, let's... Have a read me with dead. Allow no tested target. I guess not tested or what? Um, <clears throat> uh, I know everybody isn't interested in this. Eternal Blue exploit for Windows 7 2008 by Sleepy yeah, The exploit might fail and crash the target system. Depending on what is overwriting. Yeah, this is the scary bit of this, right? So would people even use this on a pen test or a red team thing? The one is still be like <laughs> nice. Rare yeah. but yeah. Okay. Um More details there. Uh, also used to other bugs. So maybe we shouldn't read all of it. Um, so as a test that this is a serious thing, it has 2,100 stars there. So, I don't think I will just read this and, oh, so it's like that, you know, because it's kind of advancing. But it has comments and that's nice. Um, I'm thinking reading one of these is not for stream, right? What do you think? Should I run it? Um, seems like, which is kind of obvious that this person knows what they're doing. Assume new parents. Hmm. 
So if we just go up, <sighs> um, I'm thinking maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't do this right now, but we have this very nice opportunity here to have a machine to oh to try it on so this is safe um eternal dot fixer bot says time to move it move it five table push-ups redeemed <laughs> my christy yeah <laughs> We need that, right? So move it, move it. And I have to add some videos popping up on screen for that, right? Uh, funnier redeem. I'm going to. And I'm going to have clips from both Madagascar Move It, Move It and uh, Neurotreat and Surrender and maybe something else, we'll see. Maybe it'll be random. Do you have a suggestion to give them to me? So, um, I, I'm thinking I'll d make that uh, 10 instead. So I'm doing 10. As slowly as possible, so you <laughs> feel it. Ah, so now we got the nice coloring up here. That's why I didn't piece it in nano. I almost did, and I thought of the nice colors. <clears throat> Christy says. Okay, Light sure. Cool smile, still can't <laughs> chat less than three smile. Thanks for being here, Christy. So, um, let's just open a new one. And, um, it didn't like say do this to that. But if we try just running it, and we'll see if it says anything. Um. Gar7 says, Yo, <laughs> busy as well, but we'll be lurking, eyes. Oh, hi Gar, thanks for being here, you too. I'm trying to do eternal blue without meta light. <laughs> we seen. Oh, so this, it requires stuff, but it doesn't say. <laughs> uh, we'll see if this even works. Is it, it's... Uh, it is Python 3, right? Or is it 2? I have no clue. Nah. No. 
Right, I need to install impact. So this is a more correct error message. Uh, so let's go back to this. Um, did it say anything about this? Where did I read about that? Hmm. And this is the same. Maybe it's more visible here somehow. Nah, it's just exactly the same. Um Should I look at this one again? Though it annoyed me with the revealing stuff. Um Yeah, because it's this is where I read, you know, uh, about installing this. Uh, but we're not in two thousand twenty anymore, so maybe this is available. Uh, installing pip stuff just there, you know, but let's, let's do it. <clears throat> so what if we pip, I think it's pip3, right? Pip3, uh, install, um, in package, let's try this. Yeah, it's there, right? It's already satisfied. Meaning that's not the correct error message, probably. Unless there's a problem with the finding it. So maybe it is... Though, this is pip3. Uh, I am... People, pip3, the difference there. Um, what if I do pip install? If I do this, but with no 3 there. We get the same messages though. I'm just looking what's happening in chat there. Um, I do have some more yogurt. Actually, I, I couldn't eat all of this yesterday, so I'm thinking... Before it goes, I was in the, the fridge, but now it's been on my table for four hours. So before it goes, it walks away by itself. I'm going to take just a bit of bread more and eat this bit too. Because time flies. Hate Handle says. Oh, the worst feeling ever. Meterpreter session 6 is not valid and will be closed. Oh no. <laughs> Got you playing with Meterpreter too. <laughs> yeah, I got a few of errors there when you died. You'll solve it. Hmm. So I'm thinking we have this old guide. Um and all right, this is on the wrong side. It's easier to get a call back, but this is not what I want to use. Okay. Um you're talking about I'm about to just MZ use console. this to it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's kind of where, where where my starting position is since, you know, I want to learn how everything works. 
uh, I want to know I don't want anything to help me too much because then I won't see what it actually does so I think that's a good place to start and then if you're going to be efficient at work thing then you can be like using lots of tools but as long as we're learning you know what you're at a totally different level of learning than I am you know so many things but still until we're like working at a job where we need to be really efficient on the buses like faster next client you know th then you could use tools <laughs> that are efficient and maybe not as good and maybe you can't see all the things that happens just a thought i know literally nothing d um i've seen your streams and i'm like oh i've never seen anyone do that oh i've never seen anyone do that Oh, I recognize that from my stream. Oh, I've never seen anyone do that. So I'm like, I have to really look at your streams and see what all those commands that I've never seen, you know. LOL. Blueberry yogurt. Mm -hmm. I streamed for four hours yesterday and nothing worked. Oh, I haven't gone far in four hours now. I've just been like, well, I've learned stuff. I guess that's what counts. So if we don't learn to use this manually, um, I know that Python files that are this old can be just problematic to start. And I can't really edit this, you know, it's it's too advanced for me just to go in and edit the code. Uh, let's see, this is the one. So I I'm not going to debug this code, right? <laughs> so if it doesn't work, I don't think I can fix it. But I've had to do that for other ones. Um, so maybe it's not the best way to learn more maybe the best way is to just drop this thought if no one has any suggestions on how to run this uh, because I get errors and I seem to have the requirements installed and yeah there are no details on how to run it and the thing that it's a few years old makes it kind of you know maybe it worked other in another way uh, but let's quickly look back at, let's see where it is, this one. And I'm definitely not reading that again, as if I would forget it. Uh, and this uses this. So, uh, if you compare to, let's see, this is the, this is this one. So, import SMB from mpacket. Yeah, but this has also SMB connection. And, no, it's not the same one. My SMB. Christy says. Hate handles use havoc. Uh, we already have impacted that about my SMB. Well, I don't have the script. I don't have the pie. Hate file. handles says. Haha, ha, I keep saying that is what I'm going to do. Um, so, by the way, I should shout you all out, people, but <laughs> should I shout, you know, Christy, Hate Handles, Gar, everybody, 
People will help me at start a stream. You all know each other already, right? New people have possibly popped in. Follow all of them. All of them. Ah, uh, so... Uh, they're looking at the script nice that I don't have. Christy, do you stream? She does. Uh, and she works with forensics, so you should follow her at once. Cool stuff. And she does uh, advanced boxes and things. Uh, but you shouldn't look too much at the category because she might be streaming in some game category <laughs> and then that's because you know i think you said the last time chrissy that science technology is not called hacking why like uh -huh. and i think chrissy is working right now It's all we got, D. <laughs> ah, so I'm trying not to eat all the time here. Um So we don't have the script and I haven't really used search spot. And if this is the way to find it. Fine. Uh, let's try typing this. This is kind of falling out of my ear. Um, so let's just do. My God, such a long name. So I'm good for. Um, look. <laughs> it's tab because of the pie file. So. It has three ones and they use the one with 15 on the end and these files are here somewhere then i don't know how search blade works um i think i have it in my notes let's just do a test here and see if my notes the old ones are actually anywhere here uh, Uh, so, yeah, it's in my note. This is this is what I was looking for. So these are where they are found. You can see I wrote this name of the thingy. That's me. Um, so, <clears throat> and then we can go look. So if we cd to uh, usr, um, well, share, and then we have, yeah, it's there. And then windows. Yeah, yeah. Um... So maybe we should just go to this one. No, I thought so, because it kind of complained there, right? So this exists. So we need exploit too. So my notes are a bit wrong. Um, there we have all of them. CD windows. And this is the one. But we have different ones there. Uh, 
well, they, since they use this, so let's start with this one. And I want to look at this file. So, what is the shortest way to make it to open in? Because I think that you can open it in, in mousepad without typing mousepad, typing something shorter, right? I'm, my memory is just not there. So uh, I'm just going to copy the, the name of this one because oh, I won't remember that. Or I might, <laughs> might do it if I read it. 42, 315. Um, but we have it, so... Let's look here. Now oh, this is a big directory. Sorry. Um, I'm trying to remember what key I should hold. Control. No, that switches these. Let's just shift. Yeah. Shift page up. Christy says. Hate handles rarely, rather not smiles likewise Alpha. I'm still in cool but they so boring. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> so been doing anything ID fun at work with today? empty paper glasses in the head. <laughs> what? What? I'm just uh, so let's see, we're like these are lots, right? These are all the exploits in the database that are remote thingies. So um I do have the name of it in my paste there. So should we just, if we do mousepad in this one, we can compare it to this. This is some, someone called Sleepia. And here is where it's, where it's from. GitLab. Mm hmm. And it's supposed to be Myers and VPI. No, no, okay. So, mm. so let's see if this one has. Uh, information if we we'll just run it <coughs> and I've got a headache and it's been four and a half hours how did that happen hackers um. corner says <laughs> oh seven hate handle says hi Me welcome too. in <laughs> Oh, you do have a headache. No, we don't want headaches. No headaches. Uh, so if we just mm, run this one. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Um, my SMB, we'll see 
We will see. Yeah. Uh, and I think that it said something in the file, right? So, my SMB can be found here. Should never crash a target, and should be nearly zero percent. So name pipe is needed. Okay, so it's not the same as the other one. Oh no, I, I think that um I will do this later, uh another day, uh, and we'll continue with the learning room on track me. But we had a repetition of <laughs> search Lloyd. Um, and Googled a bit on this. And we got a spoiler for a box on an annoying blog. No, not that one. This one. Um, though I guess that I could use that information to... And this is... Oh, this is the other, yeah. <clears throat> so we have finished this bit, so let's go to the next one. Um, and this, it wasn't actually as long since I used, I think. Oh. Oh. Um. Water is good for headaches, right? <laughs> and that's kind of funny because <laughs> I just um, had anti ache pains because of <laughs> female day. <laughs> Call it like that. <laughs> I didn't want to start having pain on stream, so <laughs> and then I get a headache. That's odd. So I hope I don't have yogurt all over my face now. <laughs> Uh, MSF Venom, which replaced MSF Payload and MSF Encode, that I've never heard of. Uh, allows you to generate payloads. MSF Venom will allow you to access all payloads available in the Metasploit framework. MSF Venom allows you to create payloads in many different formats. PHP, EXE, DLL, ELF, ETC, and many uh, and for many target systems, Apple, Windows, Android, Linux. Okay. Um. Oh my goodness, sorry. I think maybe I ate too much yogurt. Uh, so, L payloads. So, I'm assuming list in them. 562 total for payload. Um, assuming they have a few fun ones on the list. They're just samples. Um, you can either generate standalone payloads, Windows executable uh, for meta operator, um, or get a usable raw format is Python. List format command can be used to list supported output formats. Encoders. Contrary to some beliefs, encoders do not aim to bypass antivirus installed on the target system. As the name suggests, they encode the payload. While it can be effective against some antivirus software, using modern obfuscation techniques or learning methods to inject uh, shellcode is a better solution to the problem. Uh, 
The example shows uh, below shows uh, the usage of encoding with the E parameter. The PHP version of Mirapuri was encoded in Base64, and the output format was raw. So, uh, P, uh, which is a payload then, uh, okay, and the L host for the payload. So I guess you can set all of the uh, settings in the input, uh, or no options in the options. Uh, F for the format, raw, and E for the in the coding then. Okay. Handlers. Similar to exploits <clears throat> using a reverse shell, you will need to be able to accept incoming connections generated by MSF Venom payload. Uh, when using an exploit module, this part is automatically handled by the exploit module. You will remember how the payload options title appeared when setting a reverse shell. Uh, the term commonly used to receive a connection from a target is catching a reverse shell. A reverse shell and a callbacks generally generated from your MSF Venom payload can be easily caught using a handler. The following scenario may be familiar. We will exploit the file upload vulnerability present in damn vulnerable web application. Uh, for the exercises in this task, you will need to replicate a similar scenario, scenario on another target system. Um, uh, DVY, uh, DVWA was used here for illustration purposes. Uh, the exploit steps are Generate a, the PHP shell using MSF Venom, start the Metasploit handler, execute the PHP shell, and the thing that annoys me is do we have to use Metasploit? Uh, MSF Venom will require a payload, the local machine IP address, uh, the local port to which the payload will connect, seen below. Uh, IP attack box, and yeah, um, yeah, we just read one of those lines. Please note, we could read what it was reverse PHP, <laughs> okay. Um, the output PHP file will miss the starting PHP tag mod. And end tag as seen below. Okay. The virtual uh, PHP should be edited. Uh, comments were removed at the beginning of file. Uh, we will use multi. What? Why does it do it like that? Whatever. Uh, we will use multi handler to uh, receive the incoming connection. Uh, the module can be used with a use exploit. I assume we could just use anything, right? Or do we have to use this? We will try stuff. Um, to use the module, you will need this L host L port. So here, set payload, set 
Okay, so you had to set the payload there. Once everything is set, we will run the handler and wait for the incoming connection. So... Can anyone tell me why we use this and not just Netcat? I like Netcat. Christy says. This. this translated from Uzbek. What? That's not a reply, Christy. You have to elaborate. <laughs> Why are we using this? In getting bored here, lol. Yeah, but chat with me then. <laughs> Tell me why why we use the exploit multi handler. In it, MSF console instead of using Netcat. You don't have to. To handle the reverse connection from you to the victim. Yeah, but there is Netcat. What more do we need? Couldn't hear you, lol. <laughs> okay, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, I, I dropped most of the bread in the yogurt. Say again. <laughs> um... Why do we use this? Why do we use the multi handler in Metasploit instead of using Netcat? Now it's clear, D. <laughs> Better eat this before it gets too old. Oh, uh, I'm getting addicted to this bread. <laughs> and it's not always in the store, unfortunately. Other people love it too. Because you will have the ability to bind the session you made with further exploitation. I know you have all those commands. I'm just... Failing to see why to use something complicated when you can use something easy. But I will hopefully learn. Pivots, post exploitations. Mm. Yeah, you talked about that the other day, that you used it to pivot. And that you have, I guess you have all the other exploitations available. Like I tried to use one to get the modules that will help you find priv escape, etc. Depends yeah. on the case. 
But I want it to be in my head, you know, not in the computer. The information, the knowledge. MSF is a huge DB with exploits. Yeah, yeah. There. No one can have the DB in their head, but is easy to search. And use it individually as well. Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't you Google instead? Then you have all updated information. No? I think it's harder to Google or to search in, in MSF and then it is to Google, isn't it? Teach me. There. Mm, I should go and get some food. My I kids, think MSN think. do a really good job keeping it updated for the public. Okay, okay, that's there is good. There's OFC, a pro version. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> so, so what's the difference between the pro versions and version and the one we have, or I have? Oh. Oh my. So, there, let's continue. I've just spent 15 minutes on nothing, right? Um, no, not on nothing. Um, when the reverse shell is triggered, the connection will be received by multi-handler and provide us with a shell. But for the mere use of THM and HTB, or even in simple <laughs> pen tests, Metasploit is really handy. Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah. And it's it's good to have you here that actually uses it, because it seems to like a lot of people don't use it. Um when I'm trying to learn it. So um I'm going to continue reading and we'll see. Um if the payword was set as meter breeder, e.g. in a Windows executable format. Okay. Uh, Moldata would then provide us with a meter breeder shell. Uh, other payloads. These are the target system configuration, operating system, installed web server, installed interpreter. MSF Venom <coughs> can be used to create payloads in almost all formats. Below are a few examples you will often use. In all these examples, LHOS will be the IP uh, of your attacking machine. I'll work with the... Oh, well. They already said that. And we knew that. Linux executable and linkable format. ELF. A lot of PPR that learn for OSCP won't like it because us won't let them use it more than one machine for the exam. Because it's automated and simple. Okay, okay. But isn't it good that? Don't you think that's a good thing? That people actually have to learn the things, not just use the tool. It does it for them. Um, sounds reasonable. Um, like, press the button. Oh, you passed the test, you know? <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> Um, that's what I'm saying. I want to learn what actually happens, not just to use a tool that does it for me. Um, MSF Venom, uh, it'll be reverse. Do do do. So, yeah, it's just doing an format elf instead. The elf format is incompatible to read the, the exploits XC. always. Don't throw stuff in that might crash all the work, no matter automated or not. 
Yeah. Um, these are ex uh, executable files for Linux. However, you may still need to make sure they have executable permissions on the target machine. For example, once you have the shell... As you saw, S1 Ren is using it for load for the Slayer Labs. No, I didn't load. see... Um, uh, the problem with Siren's Dreams is I can't see a thing there. My screens are not big enough for me to be able to read uh, mo most things. And unfortunately, since she starts streaming kind of late most of the time. So I I've missed... I, I was there at the start, you know? But then I kind of missed most of it. But I have I have saved the them, downloaded the... Uh, stream, so I w hopefully will have time to watch them and uh, try to upsize <laughs> as much as possible. I'm thinking I'll need a. <laughs> I need... It's hard to read those tiny stuff. Yeah, I need D. a bigger screen to be able to see see siren streams. <laughs> unfortunately, uh, so I've been I've been asking for font size up a few times, but I don't want to you know nag about it. It feels bad. Um, so, well, I'll just try and do it later. So, no, I don't, I know what she's been using. Uh, so let's see. Uh, you may ne still need to make sure you have executable permissions. Um, usage mod X. Um, once done, you can run this file by top end. Using Terminator in four to five panes will end up in a small font for screen stream. Uh, using Terminator in four or five panes. I don't know what Terminator is. Is it a terminal? Uh, I, that's why I'm just doing one, you know, window. Because I don't like it when it's tiny on stream. So I'm trying not to be tiny on stream. <laughs> I've just zoomed up kind of big. <laughs> Multi-terminal. Yeah, but... Well, I'm not going to say I don't see the use for that when there's already one. <laughs> um, I use lots of tabs, though, but I don't do any complicated stuff. Um, is helpful when things get complicated. Yeah, but so what? What is the default one? What's this called? This. It says tabs. And I have kind of big size on the font, so it's readable on stream. Is hard with tabs. What is hard with tabs? Um, that's the wrong one. No. You will see in time. Smile, smile. smile. I know. I won't see with time. <laughs> that's one thing I'm sure of. You know. Um, you can also name the tabs if you want to. So, you know, I've I've used computers for a while, so that part of them it's not new to me. <laughs> um, so uh, Windows, EXE, PHP, um, RAW. They call it a RAW. That's funny. For me, RAW is binary, like. <laughs> Uh, ASP, SP, Python, RAW. Um, okay. So RAW means text, because Python and PSP, PHP has a RAW. Uh, all of the examples above are reverse payloads. I need to have, to, uh, have the export multi-handler module listening on your ticking machine. Grassum says. To work. Just doing a drive by to say hello and wish you good luck in your future endeavors. Thank you, Grayson. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, 
we're doing some try hack me learning rooms there. Um, trying to find the purpose of Metasploit. <laughs> um, uh, you will need to set up the holler currently to according to payload. Do, do, do. These values will be the same. You have used create. Uh, lots of VM. Yeah. This is what equal to Hacker's Corner says. Christy, I recommend using something like screen slashed mux instead of a terminal splitter so you can handle multiple sessions against multiple targets. Screen slashed mux also support more functionality than Terminator. Hmm. Yeah, I use screen a bit for that's how I run our Minecraft server. It's a simple Debian machine, but well, yes, eight gig RAM and stuff like that, you know. But it's so easy to just I just use screen for you know keeping the stuff running when I'm not there connected. <laughs> Very nice. But uh, people have been talking about Tmux, but I think it's. Is it worth it, you know? Maybe it is, maybe it's not. We'll see. Uh, and I also looked at the the age of them, you know, screen. I used screen in 1995. <laughs> um, so I think Tmux is newer, right? Um... The username is Murphy. The password is okay. As I say, she loves this machine. I've had to use nested sessions with Mux instead of Screen before. That was fun. Not okay, sure how to do okay. that without that setup. Mm -hmm. Christy says. In using Mux, I was explaining what S1 Ren workflow is. Hacker's Corner says. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> I think a lot of people use Tmux, so that's why I'm thinking of. We're covering at screen it too. right now in my class. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I, I think it's especially cool because the computers that I used back then, they were real old Unix <laughs> machines. <laughs> you know? Uh, in 1995, it wasn't Linux. <laughs> and it's still the same. It's still the same. Uh, old classics. Um, you can connect via SSH to launch this machine in the browser. Once letter mode type sense. <laughs> okay, so why should we do this? To be able to do these things? Why not on ours? Uh, create image of rear payload, I'll form it. Uh, are these where there's no answers required? <coughs> I'm kind of talking too much, getting lost in what, what what some of what they're saying, definitely. So we'll see. Transfer it to target machine. After having used the meter before in this one, this feels kind of... why? Use a post exploitation module to dump hashes. So, we just did exactly this before. 
So I assume they want us to do exactly the same thing, but this time using him as a venom. Uh, I'm thinking they're in time for my kids. Uh, maybe I should like do just just put up my lunch sign, though it's not lunch, you know. <laughs> uh, I'll 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 duplicate it and make a dinner sign. <laughs> um. Because I want to continue, uh, but they need some dinner. And it's not like they want to do teenagers, you know? We don't want to do something with me right now, I think. If we do, we might. Um, so, is there not a duplicate? No. I have to copy and paste in OBS here. So, let's paste a duplicate. Because we don't want to change the, uh, you can you can watch me edit this, so let's change this to dinner. Um, uh, the window is too big, so I can't reach. Okay, but in there, so. Um, we'll do a bit more and then I'll pop that one up. <laughs> so, 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 so. Um, yeah, let, let's follow the instructions. I'm just not clear why we should, why they want us to SSH. Or launch this machine in the browser. What? In the browser? Like... Anyone to know what they mean? Why should we do any of these things? Um, let's see if it gets clearer. Yeah, we're going to create a payload. Uh, L format. And we have suggestions here, how to do it. Or explicit instructions how to do it, rather. Um, they want to do this on, on the attack box, which is Attacking machine of choice, yeah, our machine. Okay, because they want us to run this thing. Okay, that's why. Now I get it. I get it. Because it's supposed to be a test if they like they run our payload. Okay. Uh, okay, let's do it then. I'm kind of feeling this is not worth it, but okay. Um. So we have spent half an hour on reading this and discussing things. That's good and useful things. Um, so the question is... If we didn't know what we were doing now, or they didn't give us a explicit command, we could have searched in here, right? So we could like search... Um, so let's say we want it to be meter creator because that's what was the point was. We want it to be reverse. And uh, 
let's let's do that search so we get all of these and they are all payloads oh my this is a too wide search i guess but we have all these ones i'm just looking at what their instructions said yeah so it's supposed to be <clears throat> uh, create a meter bridge payload in the elf format so uh, for the elf format does it say right it's the first example here the main thing and it's linux x86 meter preview reverse tcp uh, so let's see if we can find that assume we're not actually knowing it in advanced oh we should know when, when we do the search uh, we would also know that this is for linux right so we don't have to have exactly that many hits And we would know it's x86. So let's add that to the search. And I assume you would learn. You know, you would learn that how the structure of these are. And here we have all of them, and we want the TCP. So what's the difference between this and that? Reverse TCP, reverse TCP. Okay, this is something else, but it's not visible in the name. Don't they have the same name? It's just two hits for the same thing. <sighs> so let's go in 19 here. At Linux, AX86, meter breeder. Oh, I know. This is it. Where where I want this one? That's the name difference. It's hard to see with the, all the pink. So it's actually twenty one. That's the one we want. So we found this then. And all the other hits are like HTTP, HTTPS, yeah, and TFTP. So then we know that this is what we want then. And they're all called payload. And this is the one from there. And um let's uh let's open the tab and um let's first follow the instructions yeah it was ssh first so let's uh, uh typing on the wrong screen so ssh um Mer. <laughs> My god, where was the name? There, P H Y at ten ten one fifty one eighty three and a very nice <laughs> password. That's one Q two V three. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Yes, first. One Q two W three E four R the best password apparently. <laughs> so yeah, and they want us to sue the so here, and we have this wonderful password. Right. Why do I keep reminding people about the YouTube channel when I still haven't put any new stuff there? <laughs> well, that's stupid. I should I should add the VODs channel instead. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of thinking time to go check in with the kids. Um, we have done the first step here and I'm hoping it won't time out. I don't think it will. So we can just run this command, which is kind of quick, but I want to type it. I don't want to just, you know, copy it. I want to type so that it gets stuck in my brain. Um, so I'll take a quick pause and it depends on what food uh, we'll make. Um, let's switch to, to the machine. Uh, no, I can't because I don't have the text there. Oh, I do have it on both, so I can just, uh, so let's, I'm going to copy it to my right screen and I'm going to paste it as a reference, so if I change the text, it will still be there. So, be right back, and that might be everything from like two minutes to more, plus some more. Uh, hope you'll stay around. I can still hear the sound, you know. So if you say something, Pilar.
Uh, I'm almost done, so I'll be back in like two, three minutes, I think. <sighs> Need to charge these. And I realized. <laughs> Uh, my hair always looks like I didn't wash it for two weeks, <laughs> but that's not the case. We took in hours. Uh, there. So, um, we're supposed to pretend that we're a user, um, by being rude, as I did. Or I guess the user will have to have permissions, you know, to be able to run it. So... Um, what it says is, create a meter per payload in the L format on the attack box, your attacking machine. So we're on our machine, we're supposed to create this, and we'll do it by... by typing this Jeff's 097 says hello hello how come I clicked that by mistake again <laughs> welcome in uh, all right I clicked it on both places right right so both on my right screen and on the on the left screen so welcome in Jeff uh we're just going to uh let's see this is a directory where they're actually at uh so we can run it from anywhere Let, let's um let's make another tab you have Ooh. a bunch of bookmark do you have some to recommend uh bookmarks oh you mean my yeah i guess so <laughs> um so this is the link for infos extremes but this the other ones are this is revshells.com uh, uh, tfo bins github io uh hacktricks.xyz and then there's Cyberchef, just Google Cyberchef. Um, this one, 
Let's see, what was this? All right, I haven't used this yet. I just got this link from someone. Um, and then we have crackstation.net. <clears throat> Let's try hack me and hack the bugs. <clears throat> and I'm supposed to look at poor swiggers. Uh, you can learn lots of stuff from there too. And then I kind of felt I was using enough space, so I continued down here. Uh, hash type identifier, hashes.com. What is the tools. first one? Uh, this is the Infos Extremes. You can see that uh, these are the streams that are online in this kind of category. We don't have our own category, so we have to make uh, or other actually oh, one super person nice. yeah so this is gopro slow yo that's running this thing so thanks to him we have this there um i guess i've got lots of other links <laughs> i've been thinking of um, people have asked me to make notes public so i might do that but i have to like split things up a bit first um, and as people help me with I the notes, they get you better. The link. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, I can look at that. I can look at that later. Thank you. Um, so now I'm going to type this. Uh, manually cost so that's the way I think I learn the best by doing it and uh, not p copying and pasting but actually typing the command so we have msf venom and then we have the payload is uh, linux uh, x86 and Major trader and of course you can mistype when you don't copy but i did pull this up here so we could just have copied the name of it we searched for it and then we have reverse uh, tcp uh, and then our machine uh, the l host the local host here uh, equals uh, 10.18.21.26 uh, uh, and then we'll have to open uh, no because this is annoyingly not netcat supposed to be connected to but to this and I've never done this before but we'll have to set that up too uh, so I think that it's kind of used four 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 before. So let let's let's do that. Um, so L port. I'm trying to see the use in this. And uh, there, and then the format is elf. And we send this to, uh, I'm not going to use their, their name. Oh, this is so annoying. I will use tree because I will always remember the tree one, 443, you know, uh, F elf. And I'm thinking I can use this again, you know? Maybe. If I have these numbers. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see. That's the second time I almost... Or the first time I did start Netcat. Um, but we'll have to see if it works with that too. I guess this is the middle predator version so it won't right um no platform it's selecting 
from the payload are selected. X is, oh, it takes from the payload. Uh, output in raw for photo. Raw payload. Right, no encoder. We have no encoder. Uh, payload size 143 bytes. Well, that's not very big, is it? Final size 207 byte. I want to look at this. Let's not do that now. Um, so let's uh, let's follow the instructions now, where since they were kind of very lot of instructions. <laughs> um, so we did this step. They have the buttons for them, so we better follow them, right? Transfer it for the target to the target machine. Um, so let's do this. Um, right. I'm supposed to click right there. Uh, yeah, and I just mangled my normal one. No, I didn't. So let's just. They have 9,000 for some reason. Uh, let's just do this. And let's go to this one. And let's rig it. HTTP. <clears throat> there so saved and you can see it was downloaded uh, so we have completed the step two and get a meter bridge session uh, on the target machine. Use a post exploitation module. Uh, first, for this step, we need to do the bit that I don't really remember here. Um, this is the name of that, what we're supposed to run. So, here are the instructions. So, let's just do that on. This one, I think it was so that we have MSF console running in. So let's just type the whole thing because I've always searched before. So this is new. Trying the new multi handler and it found it. So, next thing it does is to set payload. And now we can see that this uses PHP. Reverse PHP. And that's not right. Um, so, we'll have to search for payloads. Let's do that. How did we do that? Was it show? Let's see if this is it. No. Um, we had it a bit ago, so um, I'm going to look at the notes. And this was just for something else. Um, this was the database things.
trying to use my notes instead of looking up there. This is search in services, that's not what I wanted. And this is another thing too, so I, I don't have it in the notes. We need to add stuff. Because uh, this was just database things. Or we did add something up here too. Didn't I add all the things here? It just missed the S. It was in the notes. Good. Uh, so I was thinking, is there an S? And there obviously were an S. Why doesn't it show the one, last one? Um, so this takes time. So we have 1400 different ones here. <laughs> so I'm thinking we should just try instead, right? So that was funny. Um the example one And the example one is PHP, right? So, uh, sorry, phone call.
so sorry <laughs> uh, my hubby he started talking about lots of things so well whatever sorry <laughs> um, I have to spend some time on the family too of course so um, <laughs> uh, let's see we're there and I've got just checking out there cause Parker Brock Time to have an eye there too. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> uh. Oh my. Um, so where were we really? Yeah, I was going to do the same with uh not PHP. So why is it called reverse PHP when it's reverse TCP? Using configure pay so this is the payload name. No, that's the default payload name. And then they set it to this one. So if we search, can we search the payloads, right? Shouldn't we be able to? Um, let's, uh, let's get help on payloads. Uh, that's nice. We can show them. Uh, yeah, so that's not the command. The command is show. So we can do types here, so we don't have all of them. Um. <clears throat> So, this is kind of odd. Can we search here? If we search for um, for this bit, let's do these. Just this is what we want to search for. Um, now we only have almost 600 of them, which is not much more helpful. Uh, we could do other things, of course. Here we have Unix. CMD Unix. I'm just curious here. We could just try not doing anything special and leave it at the default. Also. But I want to explore this. So. <coughs> And actually, my air is starting to feel this. This is heavy. So, right back to charging. Um, And I've been eating so much yogurt, so 
If I'm going to eat dinner, it will be much later. Um, yeah, it's it's eighteen, eighteen forty-three. I'm thinking maybe I'll do a long one today. Uh, so, did I skip past the bit where we switched? No, it's it is six hundred, so it's a lot of lines. This was the old one. Then this is this one. So if we look at the first few ones here. So. Yeah, there are different, different operating systems. We'll show reverse. Uh, I'm thinking that we'll just try keeping it at, at the default and so the show payloads that's what shows us so many and that's why it takes so long because it's 1395 and Well, this is where we started use the use of this one, um, and then um, if we do options now, uh, we can see that we have the wrong port. Um, we need to set. Let's do G. Um, L port to 443 because that's what we used in the payload um, and we have a default payload set which is generic shell reverse TCP and I'm thinking why not try it you know um, they, in their example, they switch this out to the PHP one, which is obviously we don't use PHP. Um, so then they're just running it. Oh. So, uh, by the way, let's look at what they used. They used PHP here. This is what they used it to create it, right? So then we should use the same that we used to create it. That's probably the way. And I didn't think of that. Why? So let's let's use this. And now I'm going to copy this because I typed it once. And uh, um, if we do, uh, I'm going to actually look again because I don't remember. It's a set, just as the other sets. So payload. Uh, payload is like one of the other variable here so we uh, need to click again set payload um, and then I'm going to paste the name that we already typed once when we used it uh, when we created it with MSF Lenin so if you know the options now we can see that this is the payload options and these are the same as we used uh, when we created it here and the file is here so we will probably need to set the permissions or kind of definitely right <clears throat> so it's not runnable so if we uh, see hmod uh, rev can we tab yeah yeah we're SSHing right uh, 
Yeah, and let's do the... Ah, uh, that's annoying. The... Oh. Let's just plus exit. Uh, and look at it again. And I failed. What did I do? Oh, minus my goodness. Maybe I shouldn't stream for long today. <laughs> right? So, uh, okay, of course, there are two money, 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 money. Rush dot. Why do we call it dot ELF? Because we can separate from the others. And let's there and now it should find the type completion right good <coughs> so just a quick look at the side what they uh, they set the payload thus we've done this we've shown the options <coughs> uh, did we run it just checking back here no we didn't run it yet so let's run it there so start your reverse tcp handler christy says i wonder where the two bffs are since they didn't come to say hello aka cocaine and general <laughs> oh they don't come every time <laughs> but yeah we'll see if they pop up uh and there's no uh no big no one else is really streaming uh i'm sorry if i don't count ollie but she's doing news right she's like co-working co-working is also a stream but it's not like a you know the same thing um so sad yeah they funny. they're funny don't tell them alpha d <laughs> maybe they're lurking in the you real that you think they're funny <laughs> So, um, we run that, and it got picked up here, so... Ha 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 well, ha, XT. Translated from Tagalog. Oh, sorry people, I didn't show you, I just run this, yeah? And we got the mid appear. So, time to go back here again. And click a little button saying, complete. Use a post exploitation module to dump hashes. And now we just did this, you know. Um, so let's go to the right. And what a hash dump. Uh, I really get uh, the hate handles problem. I think it was, I was thinking it was him with the size, the order of things. Okay, we need to load prev and then we do hash dump. Okay, that didn't work. Not supported by this. Okay. Oh, that was a Windows thing. Okay, you know, when they said this, uh, post exploitation 2, uh, I didn't think what about that. It wasn't. That was Windows, because I was just thinking, oh right, but we'll probably have the same thing. Oh, uh, they could have used the same command, right? Yeah, so enough, then, no. Let's look at help. <laughs> yeah, 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 so this is, um, we SSH'd into this uh, for the demo, so it's yeah this is not windows <laughs> ubuntu 18.4.5 lts so oh, 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 oh. so let's look at this i what see we have loaded uh 
Uh, and I'm kind of, you know... We're going to po use a post-exploitation module. We can't just go to the machine and, you know, look. So... <laughs> Though I assume since we run it as root, you know, we run it as root, it's very tempting to just use the possibly available shell there, right? I'm sure the shell exists there, do. Um, so, they want us to go out of this and use a module. Not to use one of these with the preview commands, so I don't think there will be one. And this is good learning, so I'm just not sure it's useful the learning, but to have a, a knowledge about what this is is useful anyway. But still. Uh, Oh, and we could do background or BG or just uh, control side. Yeah, we want a background. I'm just remembering the commands as I. Um, so now we're going to find something that can dump hashes on Linux. Um, so we're going to, I guess we go back now because we're done with this one and then we search because we have, if we look at sessions, we have our session, it's there. Uh, so we need an exploit for this and then we search or exploitation module as they say. Uh, we can also search them for type. So if we do type like this, no, it won't. Is it type equals? Um, I have this in my notes, but I don't. That was the doorbell. I'm just checking the door.
Um, it was just someone selling something at the door, but my other kid wanted food too. <laughs> he said no, some when I was asking, you know, but <sighs> there. So what was I doing? Remind me, background session. Oh right, we were going to search for and if you'd been watching the screen you would have seen this pop up at 19. So I'll be gone for at least five minutes, sorry. Uh, at least both my kids have had, had food now. So use a post exploitation module to dump hashes uh, of other users on the system. And what we know is this is, so we want all good smile smile <laughs> thank you because uh, the alternative would have been to stop streaming and I didn't want to do that <laughs> uh, search hash dump uh, Linux I was thinking something like that hmm we could also say of course so uh, we found something there. <clears throat> I don't really know what this ox is, but I realize what post is. And that's what we should have been searching for from the start, because it says post exploitation. So, uh, let's use zero and look at the options and it's the session only so let's set uh, session uh, to one i assume uh, we list the sessions just it's two actually <laughs> so last time it was one so let's do set session two Set session three. Options. <laughs> two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so now it's two and it's actually two. <clears throat> so let's run this and see what happens. There. Uh, what's the other users? And that's Claire because we're Murphy. Yeah. So long, long hash. That's the correct thing. So, uh, just checking that you're on this right screen, which is the right screen, and then we go to the left screen, and we paste there, and we did this one too. Um, this kind of annoys me. <laughs> I couldn't even find the button. Uh, I want to look at what we were doing before I just hop over to the next one uh, and repeat here. So, um, I also want to see what the hint was, right? Use post Linux ga gather hash dump. And that's the one we used. Um, we could make more notes there because this could be useful in the future. Um, so I'm kind of thinking I'm go I'm copying on on the machine the name of this one. So I need to organize these now some more, but uh hash dump windows in oh gosh dump uh, in meter uh, reader uh, commands uh, hash dump linux uh, there so I assume it just <laughs> looks at the file <laughs> Uh, which we could have done, but this is supposed to be faster, I guess. I'm not convinced. This was much 
slower than it would have been to look manually, right? Um, and we should be root. Well, let's let's go to the shell on it. Um, of course, yeah, this room is ended, so there will be a new machine, not the same one. Uh, yeah, you're on the side. I, I just added to my notes there. Uh, hash dump windows. We did this earlier. It's just called hash dump in at meter feeder prompt there. And then we have hash dump Linux doing this. Uh, when we, of course, have a connection or a session. Uh, and both requires a session, of course. Um, so. So if we go to shell, typing in the wrong place, I'll remove it from the notes. Type shell there. So shell, uh, no. So sessions. And uh, sessions, I do. And then we do shell. And then we hopefully get a shell. This is slow. Okay, maybe we were there already. So, who am I? Root, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you know, we could have just looked this way. So, for me, that's enough. So, we are also still SSH in there. Um, right in the other user, because, yeah, we logged in with that one. Let's exit a few ones. I'm thinking of it, maybe I should like make like on boxes logs on these two so I have these things saved because I don't want all of this to be in there but I don't want it to be forgotten either but you could always redo the room too, you know? Or just read it. Mm. So my search was kind of hash dump Linux. Oh, now we know we can type hash dump together. So what if we just do hash dump? But now I closed it, so oh whatever. I'm going to exit that too and close these. Mm -hmm. So we have a fresh start here. Um because I'm thinking we'll continue. Continue with the next one. So, um, let's terminate this one. That's also a funny thing when you pop to the next room, you never close it. Never close the boxes. 
So, we are done with this one. We go for this one. And now, uh, since we <laughs> we're going for manually doing eternal blue, I know that the blue one there is, <laughs> which is kind of obvious, but still. That is eternal blue. Annoying. Annoying, annoying. So, uh, now we get an introduction to meter prayer. And then we get what? Uh, maybe I should just minimize this so we can see. Uh, flavors, commands, post, exploitation with. And the challenge. And the challenge is, so it's facts challenge nothing you can test before that i assume but we can open this one already now so uh, such as get system and hash dump well we need something to test i don't just want to read lots of text and then do it at the end you know um, though, I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should not read everything, because my voice will die at some point. <laughs> um, my eyes are kind of starting to think this is bright light too. Um, I'm just going to check on my phone if I have anything important. Fixerbot says, time to move it, move it. Five table push-ups redeemed. <laughs> Thanks, Goaku. We're going together with the push-ups there then. Goaku says, <laughs> sorry, bad timing. Oh, no problem. I just noticed that my brother went to Mallorca and went biking. Biking vacation. <laughs> and he just landed in Orlando. And they had like 30 degrees Celsius when they were biking. <laughs> uh, and here we only have 17. I'm going to type, welcome home to the cold. <laughs> the cold, it's starting to get warm here, finally. It was kind of funny, four days ago I had snow in my car. And yesterday it was 18 degrees warm. Definitely no snow. <laughs> it melted plus one, you know, so. <sighs> Just give it a for the smiley hair, too. There. I uh, also have the message from the kids' school. Um, I'll have to look at that later. Because now it's already too late to for today. I got that. Okay. It's like a few hours ago. Um, so let's do those push ups, Goku. Um, let's do another 10 instead of 5. I'll keep the number there, 5. So I can cheat if I want to, right? <laughs> well, this is kind of straining train for my tummy too, since my socks keep slipping away. <laughs> Trying the other way on the table. Oh, I 
think this is better. I'm just quickly switching pants. <laughs> So switching from my <laughs> sweaty jeans, they're kind of thick jeans fabric too in both. So <sighs> it's kind of warm in here, though the LEDs they're not, you know, very bright or very heat generating. But I mean, if this would have been other light than LEDs, I would have been dying in here. But it's still kind of warm. I'm just gonna show you something. This light is on one percent brightness. <laughs> so if I put it up on more, so it's loading devices, connecting to devices. Come on. Please wait. There, so let's see, this is my right light. So if I up it from one brightness one, you know, it's. <laughs> uh, it could be so horribly warm in here, but it's a 1%. 4, 3, 2, 1. So I don't think I want more than 1%. I think that one's actually at like. Uh, mo much more at least. So there. Oh, um, interpreter is a metasploit payload that supports the penetration testing process with many vulnerable components. The depredator will run on the target system and act as an agent with a command control architecture. Uh, you will interact with the target operating system and files and use Mirapreter specialized commands. Mirapreter has many versions which will provide uh, different functionalities based on the target system. And yeah, also we, we had to put the file there, right? So, uh, how does Metapreter work? Metapreter runs on the target system, but it's not installed on it. It runs in memory and does not write itself to disk on the target, unless you put a file there. Uh, this feature aims to avoid being detected during antivirus scans. By default, most antivirus software will scan new files on the disk. Uh, when you download, do, do, Midbury runs in memory RAM. Uh, to avoid having file that has to be written to disk on the target. This way, Midbury will. This would be said in two words, like right. Since the process and not to have a file on the target system, Midbury also aims to avoid being detected by network-based IPS, Intrusion Prevention System, or IDS, Intrusion. Uh, detection system uh, solution by using encrypted communication and server uh, with a server where Metasploit runs. Typically, your attacking machine. Uh, if the target organization does not encrypt and inspect encrypted traffic, uh, 
coming to and going out of the local network, IPS and IDS solution will not be able to detect its activities. Does not decrypt and inspect. <coughs> Uh, while Metaprojector is recognized by major antivirus software, this feature provides some degree of stealth. The example below shows a target Windows machine exploited using MS-17 one uh, uh, vulnerability. You will see Metaprojector is running. They really aim for us this number to be ingrained in our skulls, right? <laughs> Uh, with the process uh, ID 13 of 4. Uh, this bit will be different in your case. We have to use the get bit command which returns the process ID with which made previous running. Okay. Uh, we just listed all of them with PS and we found. No, we didn't see it like that, right? The process ID of process identifier is used. By operating system to identify running processes. All processes running on Linux or Windows will have a unique ID number. This number is used to interact with the process when it needs um, when need arises. I'm just itching on my leg. Uh, if it needs to be stopped. Uh, yeah, their example. Uh, if we list the processor running on type with a ps command, we see ps 13 voice pool, which we tried. I tried to switch to this one before. <laughs> uh, and not made a breeder, as one might expect. And well, this listing is harder to read, but here it is. <clears throat> Even if we were to uh, go step further and look at the DLLs used by Media Preacher, we still will find uh, we still would not find anything jumping. Uh, just no Media Preacher dot DLL. So task list M five PD. Tossless. This this command is like no, I've never seen it. Never seen it. I'm so not used to doing on Windows modern Windows things like this. So this we need to copy and explore. <laughs> so this is a list of uh, the DLLs for this process. So this is just a copy of the command, so this is the command. It's just the echo. Yeah, so uh, we have something for our Windows notes. Um, new note. Uh, uh, process is DLLs. <coughs> List DLLs. Um, well, used, let's say used, by a process. It was crazy money, you know? Is that a usual number? We'll have to use this later and look, and look at the task list command. But not right now, because I want to continue. Um, Techniques and tools that can be used to detect media breeders are beyond the, the scope of this room. This section aimed to show you how stealthy media breeders are running. Remember, most antivirus software will detect it, so not so stealthy then. Uh, it is also worth noting that media breeder will establish an encrypted TLS encryption channel with the attacker system. 
there. So let's read about flavors. Um, as discussed in the previous Metasploit rooms, linked below, Metasploit payloads can be initially divided into two categories, inline, uh, also called single and staged. Yeah, I don't, I don't really remember this. And I didn't really get it from just rereading, so maybe I should have done more. But maybe we'll get a refresh on that here. Because the first room I didn't do recently. I just read it now. <clears throat> should I read it all? Should I save this bread for tomorrow for breakfast? There's not much left. Oh. Let's see. It wants to be eaten before the tent. But it was actually in my freezer too, so it will be eaten tomorrow. <laughs> I'm curious about letters. As you will remember, stage payloads are sent to uh, the target in two steps. The, as an initial part is installed to the stager and request the rest of the payload. This allows for a smaller initial payload. Okay, so it's like a two-step thing. Inline payloads are sent in a single step. They're also div divided into stagged and inline. Why? <laughs> Seriously? There's inline and staged, and then there's stagged. Is that like a type of <laughs> that can't be real? The easiest way to have an idea about available meter per version could be to list them using MSF Venom, as seen below. Oh yeah, it can list. Oh cool, this is what it was missing last time. I would like to have grabbed the... But we were in MSF console, so I, I wouldn't... I didn't try to grab. Maybe I could have grabbed stuff. I don't think I could. Oh. What if, what, why wasn't this in the room when we had to look for one? That's so annoying. Well, we have it now. We can list the payloads here so we don't have to mess about with the horrible MSF console. I'm whispering so Christy won't hear me. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. So. <laughs> so when we're searching for, here the search. So we can also search like this. There. Though why use it for this line when none of the others use it? Whatever. <sighs> oh. 
<sighs> Fixerbot says. New follower Headstrong69. Welcome Less than three. Uh, welcome in. Or even Headstrong69. <laughs> should say their whole names, right? At least when I welcome you. So, now we got a tip that we can list them here so we can grab. And if I hadn't removed all of the other tabs. Headstrong69 says. Meter Peter. Meter Peter. Yeah. Um, the list will show meter breeder versions available for the following platforms. Okay. Yeah, and we, I noticed these versions uh, before. So let's read on. Uh, your decision on which version of Meter Predator to use will be mostly based on three factors. The target Fixer operating says, system. New follower get locked. Less than three. Welcome in, get locked. Welcome in. So we're learning stuff here. <laughs> the target operating system. Is the target operating system Linux or Windows? Or is it Mac or Android? Components available on the target system, Python, PHP, network connection types uh, you can have with the target. Do they allow raw TCP? Uh, can you only have HTTPS reverse? Okay, so that's why those are there. Our IPv6 addresses not as closely monitored as IPv4. Well, that's a cool trick. Um, if you are not using MediaPreer as a standalone payload generated by MSF, MSF uh, your choice may also be limited by the exploit. You will notice some exploits will have says, default. Thank you. I have just passed my PMPT and CRTO within the last two oh. months, so I am still learning a lot before I go for OSCP. Okay, cool. Very cool. I am no certification at all <laughs> um, so i'm just studying and trying to learn um, we'll see if i can afford getting a certification <laughs> but i guess it's money well spent if you pass the exams i've heard people complaining about oscp uh, that it's kind of what you practice is not what you get the exam on so you have to have lots of other knowledge than than that so Study, we need to study lots. Um, so I'm, I'm studying lots here, <laughs> trying to learn. And I'm currently going through the Try Hack Me uh, beginner. Of, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? Um, complete beginner. Yeah. They have like three beginner ones. This is the third one. <laughs> Uh, so I'm becoming a tiny bit less of a beginner here. Though I kind of, I started with Try Hack Me, or like, I started with some YouTube videos and stuff, and then I did some Try Hack Me, and then I did other stuff, and now I'm back to Try Hack Me and want to finish all these paths. Because they seem kind of nice though, right? You have an organized learning. Yay. I am not fan of it, only reason I am doing it is for HR. Mm -hmm. This is a good path to go down on Try Hack Less Than 3. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Thanks. Uh, so, uh, I have never seen anyone actually use Meter Predator or, well, maybe Meter Predator, but not like MSF Console, MSF Venom I've seen, you know, and in that case actually using a bit of MSF Console, but, you know, I haven't seen that a lot. <laughs> when I watched people stream them, doing boxes and things. Uh, so if you are, and, and a lot of people talking, so you don't have to be quiet, just talk on and if you have suggestion or just think, oh, this made me think of this thing I learned 
last month or today or whatever. Just talk about stuff, you know? We're having fun while we're learning. We're not just reading, 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 falling asleep. You know? <laughs> you have to have some life there too. That's why I'm doing this like this. And also to, um, you know, really focus on it. Uh, yeah, you know, you know. Uh, and there's a Discord too. So hop in there, we can learn together. Uh, it's just exclamation Discord, but it pops up now and then in, in chat. So, I do uh, If you're not using it as a standalone payload generated by the MSF... My god, why is MSF Venom so hard to say suddenly? Your choice may also be limited by the exploit. You will notice some exploits will have a default media breeder payload, as you can see in the example below. With the channel blue. So we've used this several times today, and last time we did this on the, the path. Um, and I started looking a bit at trying Eternal Blue without uh, MSF. And it was not this quick, but I didn't Google much on the other side, so... Uh, so use it and then nothing. You can also list available payloads, show payloads. This is just repetition, which is good, I guess. Um, just this is what you already know, remember, thingy. So just theory and theory here. Uh, typing help. Oh my. Yeah, I've got that all of the commands. In my notes actually but this is the default ones then I guess because they they changed I learned they change um, 6 hours 43 minutes how did that happen I just started studying right um, yeah they're just popping up let's do the discord one too then you're welcome into the discord and study together with me <laughs> Uh, and also do other fun stuff. So, I was looking for, in my notes... Um, oh my goodness. Why? Yeah, the help. So... Uh, the normal one, the help for Metasploit and the help for Meter Breeder there. So I guess we can see here if this was a Windows one. Yeah, it was because it has hash dump. So this is for a Windows, Windows one. And also the, <laughs> the formatting was horrible there. Whatever, whatever. Why? So I should really make a new line in front of this so we don't end up in the header there. That's useless fixes. So this is where we were. <clears throat> uh, every version of Media Prayer will have a different command options. So running help command is always a good idea, right? Because it will be updated depending on what you run, actually. Commands are built in tools available on Metaprayer. They will run on the target system without uh, loading any additional script or executable files. Metaprayer will provide you with three primary categories. Built-in commands, Metaprayer tools, Metaprayer scripting. Okay, I didn't know that, so that was useful. If you run the help command, you can see media breeder commands are listed under th different categories. Yeah, I've seen that. Please note that the list above is taken from the output of the help command on the Windows version. Yeah, uh, these will be different on other media breeder versions. I kind of noticed that when I tried to do hash dump on a Linux one just now. So media breeder commands. Command, core commands will be helpful to navigate and interact with the target system. 
Below are some of the most commonly used. Remember to check all available commands running the help command once we do session has started. Yeah, and we don't need to read this. We have them and we read we check this all the time. All of these uh, all commands seem available in the help menu. They may not all work. For example, the target system might not have a webcam or it can be running on a virtual machine without a proper desktop environment. Yeah, so <laughs> webcam snap. These are kind of funny, right? I'll almost have to try them on my computers, you know, <laughs> install something. Labbing a bit. So, a post exploitation with MetaPrayer. MetaPrayer provides you with useful commands that facilitate the post explanation. Post exploitation phase. For lower a few examples, you will often use help. <laughs> oh, we never heard about the help command. <laughs> uh, as we've seen earlier, many versions. But you, the whole last section was on this. People, okay, repetition, repetition is nice, but this is over the my limit. Media printer commands. Get, uh, get you it command will display the user which media printer is currently running. So this one is kind of good to know, because you can always see what you're running as without going into the machine or anything. So let's put this in our notes. Um. So, um, I'm kind of thinking, I'm going to source this later. We could, of course, make it like a bit bigger. Um, so I think I copied that one. Whatever. Uh, PS list running processes. I guess I can forget this, but we have used it several times today. Migrate. Yeah, we try doing this. But it didn't work. We didn't have permissions enough, though we were in the authority system, which I thought was kind of funny. Migrating to another progress will have me to breeder interact with it. For example, if you see a word processor running on that target, e.g. word notepad, you can migrate to it and start capturing keystrokes sent by the user to this process. That's cool. Some me to breeder versions will offer you the uh, keyscan smart, keyscan stop, keyscan dump command. Mm -hmm. uh, should we mention migrate? I've tried it. It's just to type the process there. Though I never got the successful one. I got fails, different kind of fails. Um, let's cut this. And... Um, so, migrate... Uh, one, two, three. Uh, if this is a uh, word uh, processor, uh, try keys can do, 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 do. there. Uh, come on, up just to make me the printer act like a key logger. Migrate into another process may also help uh, make it more stable. And that suggestion, I got the suggestion when I just started out today, uh, since Eternal Blue is not the most stable thing. And that's what we were using, so we'll see. Uh, we didn't have the permissions then, because it was not like intended, I guess. To migrate to any process, you need to. Type migrate command from other pid. Yeah. Be careful, you may lose your uh, privileges. If you migrate from a higher privilege, if you system user to a process started by a lower reuse. Yeah. 
Uh, and we can see this in the process list here. User. So it's easy to see. Uh, hash dump. Yeah, I've already got this in my in my notes. We added it right here. So hash dump for Windows and hash dump for Linux. After you have it, you can just um, go back and run this thing instead. And I realized I should have searched for post. But it helped. Though we've only found like two hits. So it was not a lot to dig through. So we did this as an answer to one of the questions in the previous room. While it is not mathematically possible to correct this as you must still discover the clear test password by using online and DLM databases or rainbow table attack. These sessions can also be used as parser hash attacks to authenticate to other systems that these users can access on the same network. Search. Search command is useful to look at files, but yeah, we use this too. So um, let's add search here too. Uh, I, s I think what I did was f and then like flag.txt, you know? Because uh, I, I first I did a PowerShell command uh, at the PowerShell, which I remember how to get the PowerShell thing still. So let's add this here too. Um, load. PowerShell, and then I did uh, PowerShell shell. There, I got the tip in chat. So better have it in the notes. Um, instead of just ge getting the CMD. And search right. Yeah, look, they did the same thing. <laughs> uh, so let's read it anyway. Yeah, useful to look at files with potentially used information in a CTF context. This can be used to quickly find a flag or profile. While in actual presentation testing engagement, you may need to search for user-generated file or configuration files that may contain password or account information. Shell. The shell command will launch a regular shell, a command line shell on the target system for it. So pressing Ctrl C will help you go back to the meter for your shell. There. So, uh, should I even add shell? Let, let's do it. Uh, shell. There. So, this is. <clears throat> let's remove one of these. I want it to be a bigger header. So, this is kind of good bit of information so useful but very very short so this challenge also has information then we have lots of things to do nice so post exploitation challenge uh, machine is started <laughs> for a long time already uh, I was thinking maybe there was something we could test here, but it was not. We did pretty press several important post exploitation tools. That's because we had already done all the things that was in here. If there had been anything new, I would have wanted to test it. So, and also tell me if I'm talking too fast, because I can slow down, you know, both my reading and talking. Commands mentioned previously, such as get system and hash dump, will provide important leverage and information for privilege escalation and lateral movement. Media Freeder is also a good base you can use to run post exploitation modules available in the Metasploit framework. Finally, you can also use the load command. Yeah, that's what we just made in our notes. To leverage additional tools such as Kiwi or even the whole Python language. This is cool. So we can do load Python. So we need to add this to the notes, right? I don't know what Kiwi is, but it's probably something good too. Um, so let's... Oh my goodness, forgot to shift, shift paste there. So... Yeah, loading 
Python. Python execute. Oh yeah, so let's copy this line too. And <laughs> do 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 do. Let's see what it actually pastes. Even if I do it like that, no. So. So why did it become so big? Ah, uh, no clue. No, it works. So. Oh, content written to SED out. This is kind of nice, the, the output ways here it has. Uh, the post exploration uh, phase will have several goals. Media Breezer has functions that can assist all of them. Gathering information about the target system, looking for interesting files, user credential, additional network interfaces, and general interesting information on the target system. Privilege escalation, lateral movement. Uh, once any additional tools is loading, uh, loaded using the load commands, you can see new options in the help menu, right? The example below shows commands added for the Kiwi module. And I will have to know what this is. We can't just skip this, right? Okay, so, okay, does it have to do with Mimikatz then? Um, let's Google this. Need to know. Meta Splits offers Mimic and Kiwi extensions. Okay, so images. <gasps> Bright light. Bright light. Six hours, 58 minutes. I don't believe it. Ah, can't be true. My. And I started at 13 and now it's 20. Um, so let's see. I don't have my Discord on. I think I'll start it because then my kids can easier reach me if, in case they're too shy to knock on the door. <laughs> Are they tired? There. Let's see. No calls today. There. Though it sometimes crashes my machine. Discord is a very stable thing. Though, so, um, just quickly looking at Kiwi. That was a very quick look. Not useful. Sorry for not reading loud. Just a tiny check on things. Um, whatever. So here's the kiwi bit. Kiwi helps. This is interesting. So this is kind of what it does then. You can get credentials. Kerberos tickets. Um, let's borrow this image. And put it in the notes. I think it was like that. Uh, 
yeah so we have the image here let's make it a tiny bit smaller because we don't need the big text right uh, even smaller like there doesn't take too much of the notes um, and there we have the spelling in case that wasn't right so we've looked a tiny little bit of that so let's continue this will change according to the loading menu so running the help command after loading a module is always a good idea oh and here we have the help for the kiwi you know it was there but the image is better in the notes i think the question below will help you a better understanding of media player can be used in process creation and also i read other stuff too uh, you can use the credential below to stimulate, simulate an initial compromise over SMB uh, using export windows SMB PSX. Okay. Um, so, this is like our job to look at this. Now, uh, I'm going to type so that I learn more. And no, it's not like step-by-step -step instruction, so we'll see how much I'll do get the help <laughs> and the notes. Hopefully, I've got everything. We'll see. Uh, typing in the wrong screen. I definitely haven't got... <laughs> we'll see if I ever get that. So, MSF console first. We'll see what cute image we get. Last time we just got text, I think. Oh, the bunny! I got the bunny for first time last time. I wonder how many images there are. Can't be that many, right? If you get two times ago, I got the same one. Uh, two ones between that one, not the bunny. Uh, so we're going to. Well, you know, with us. If you do the lol emote, you know what happens then? The username here, that's that in Swedish. <laughs> Which is kind of, you know, mm hmm. Uh, you should probably tell them. That's it, you know? <laughs> uh, well, I'm not on screen here, I'm sending a message. <laughs> Just send him a bit of feedback. That's what that sounded like. Well, yeah. <coughs> oh my goodness. Okay, feedback is not good. Look at this. I clicked feedback. And then I got thanks for taking the time to share your feedback. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. It's so buggy. Oh, it's so buggy, it's so buggy. Oh, so if we go here again, and we go, let's go back, let's do contact support, and if I click this again, will it give me the chance? I'm not touching anything. Thanks for taking the time, no. You can send your suggestions here. This is, you know, I guess I should click here, uh, but this, on this room, you know, let's do this on stream then, <laughs> in the room. Uh, Username uh, is not a good word in Swedish. <laughs> well, if I if my kids were doing this, you know, no, it doesn't matter. It's just like they know you, right? So. Uh, let's continue. Everybody Googling that, right? <laughs> um, so.
So let's see now. We have 2,407 exploits, 1,239 auxiliary. I don't know what auxiliary is though. What is auxiliary? Tell me. Post? I know what post is now. Well, what's the difference between payloads and exploits? Payloads is like what you actually sent, and the export is the like vulnerabilities. But for me, that's kind of the same thing anyway. No? And then we have encoders, knobs, and evasion. Um, maybe I should actually Google this, or we can. Okay, it popped up here because I right clicked. What? I wanted just to click this one. Inskid5 says, Hi everyone. Hi, welcome in. Inskid5. So I'm actually going to go to this. And. Alright, oh, it was a bit slow, but it opened Firefox on the box too. So, now I'm closing it down. We don't need double. So, um, I'm actually just curious on their definition of auxiliary. So let's start with just doing this. Uh, typically, a main method for an excellent module is def run, but you will. Uh, but when you use the run host, I think. Oh, whatever. I don't. What is this? Is what we want to know, right? Uh, an auxiliary module does not execute a payload. It can be used to perform arbitrary actions that may not be directly in relation to exploration. Exploitation. Examples of auxiliary modules are scanners, fuzzers. Okay, this not this is good. Now I know what it is. Good. So it's like scanners, other stuff. Yeah. Okay, we know. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Uh, keeping that fun for now. So, um, we're going to find something, or actually, we know what we're going to find, because it says... Uh, so, maybe we should just use this one, and I can actually copy the name, because if we didn't have the name, we could search for it. So, let's do use this. And it does, so we check options. Let's do info too. Service. All right. Uh, we need to do a set to G. L host uh, 10, 18, 21, 236. Um, there, and it can have whatever port it wants because it still want to steal the thing from us. No, not cat. <laughs> um, let's let's look at the info. Info, right? No, not info. This is all of it. There. So, Microsoft Windows uh, authenticated user code execution. Now we have a user. Um, Windows 1999. Available targets. Automatic partial need to upload move upload command um, uh, 
I'm just curious. We we got the IP, you know, of the machine. And the first question is, what is the computer name? So, <laughs> I kind of want to do Admap, but we, we should do this. Uh, service description. This is not really telling me so many things. We should add the R hosts, of course. Session to run this module on. We don't have one, you know, or uh, let's do the options again. So we just have these, and then we have user and parser. So that's why we have a session. We don't have that kind of session. Oh well. Let's fill in this. So, SMB pass, SMB user. Let's start with our host. So, uh, set G, because, well, let's do set, because uh, we will, this will work the first time, right? <laughs> and we won't need to do anything else. Mm, 10, 10, 147, 164. And there. And then we do SMB pass. Set SMB pass. Uh, uh, password 1. Very secret stuff here. And set uh, SMB user, I'm guessing now. Uh, there. I guess it's B. Allen. Let's definitely not pronounce it in Swedish. Um, so, uh, let's look at options again. Now we should have all the information filled in here. There's no Windows domain. Just scrolling up here. Um, we don't have a session. Our IP is filled in. And it's set to automatic, which sounds kind of nice. So if we run this, Service start timed out. Okay, if running a command or non-service executable. Ascending stage, mirror session one open. So now we have a stage. Now we can do the health and see what we got in this one. We have the hash dump here. So I assume that we're looking now for uh, how to find the name of the computer, because this is the question, right? So we're supposed to simulate that by using this and these and of course the IP to connect and then it asks what the computer name is and domain so we'll see what we can find uh, from these commands because uh, it was very meter reader themed of this one right it's called meter reader <laughs> with a full name of the URL. So, um, I remember that we could look at who we are, but we know who we are because we logged in. So, I'm trying to scroll, it's kind of slow. And I'm getting my headache back. I could be doing this too long, you know. 7.15. <laughs> Crazy. Let's get some more bread. Uh, I'm going to eat something else afterwards. Um, so, 
Uh, let's see, right, so, so these are the things that we're going to find. And give me just one second here. <clears throat> I'll just shake this stuff out. On there. So let's read this. Uh, I'm feeling so sweaty now, too. <laughs> and you can talk to me, people. Talk to me. You, you're allowed to, um, um, yeah, you know, <laughs> chat. I have the TTS for a reason. So here I have some kind of machine, machine ID. That could be kind of interesting to try. Was it too Yes, 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 uh, I have a note in my door that I'm streaming, and I told him, and still he <laughs> didn't realize, so. Well, it's kind of, kind of late, but uh, he was saying that our kid is sleeping uh, in his chair, which he has problems not sleeping in his chair, but he slept yesterday in his bed. Um, so... And I've been talking to him a lot, so it's not like it's abandoned, and it's not like he doesn't have another parent too. Um, so let's let's try the machine ID. I'm kind of thinking I'll do this until. Uh, Unless Red Star streaming, we'll see. He said he would stream, right? <laughs> I'm waiting when when he pops up. Hmm. So maybe we should just do the machine ID. We have it there at least. So what else have we got? So here we have use as a deprecated alias for load. Why is it in the list if it's deprecated? Mm. Yeah, and I tried cats and stuff. This is kind of nice. Um, forward a little port to add. Remote service. Clear the event log like that. But it might not work just because it's in the list. Execute a command. I need to know how this works, right? I think we just. Like we're at the prompt, right? But we don't actually go to the shell. <clears throat> Current process identifier. This is the one they mentioned. So I'm thinking machine ID and get paid. And that's kind of like, try, try these. And then we'll continue reading system commands. So let get pid is 34 weight. And also if we look at PS, which would kind of blank everything else out, but let's do it anyway. We can see that the 34 weight should be um my blind. Those are more than we had before. Another machine, of course. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So it's PowerShell now. Before it was... Um, before it was Spoo. Um, 
Okay, and the other one was like machine ID, right? Yeah. So let's do help again. Um, and go up to the system commands. Oh my. And there we have the PS that we did. Filter process by name. Modify and interact with the remote registry. Shut down. Suspend. Some keystrokes, dump keystrokes. Oh, this was the ones they mentioned, right? Um, mouse. Screen share. <laughs> Play an audio. Get system. <laughs> these are so funny, these commands. Um, I think we could also do right LS. And this is slow. Yeah, because we're in system. And we could actually probably switch the the rate rates. This is a lot harder too. So we have all these parts. Uh that was not very smart, right? So um did we see anything? <laughs> I'm trying not not to and map this or anything like that. But if we just go to the machine, uh, would that be cheating? I'm kind of thinking it is. There must be something for like getting information the basic information so um user interface system this is about a system we want sysinfo look sysinfo maybe let's do sysinfo sysinfo oh we have the domain and the computer name. So system for Bosset. Yay! That's the first two questions here. So it's Acme test. And then domain is flash. And let's see. Oh, well, there was a suggestion, sysinfo. But <laughs> use the post windows, gather enum info. You will need a background reader first. Okay, so this is an interesting command. But they did ask a question for the first one that we automatically got the second one at, at once. Kind of funny. This is why I read the hints after doing it. So we need this sysinfo and so here we need it. Mm. What was that?
I think it's like the neighbors. You can't spell computer. Um, so we can also see it's Windows Server 2019. I have to go check what's knocking. Seven logged on users. Seven logged on users. Patrikong says. Hey, yeah. I think using Metis is all cheating as well, Dot, but you using it for learning it, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't... I'm, like, thinking, I want to know what really happens. What's re you know, what I want full control and know the details. And this is like... But I'm following the path there, <laughs> so I have to do it, I guess. Um, so... Complete beginner, Windows explanation, <laughs> basics. Uh, so that's why. So, if you want to help me do the um, um, the Eternal Blue manually, without this, you're welcome. But I don't think this machine might have it, though. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it is. Maybe that's it. Maybe not. Yeah, so I've been saying that several times during the stream that um, tell me why I should use this because I still don't see the purpose because I would like to, you know, know stuff not just l use a tool to find it so yeah because as I said previously, you could just like if you could just click a button, uh, and uh, it does everything for you. Is that really you know that's not learning, right? <laughs> and it's not. If you're working at at a company and you have lots of stuff to do and have to do it quickly, then you can use a tool. But if you're learning, I at least you have a job and know everything. You know, <laughs> why do it not manually? Except for learning that the tools exist and a bit how to use them. So that's the goal there. Except for completing the paths. Because I want to do that. So... Yeah, so... Let's... Uh, uh, I didn't copy that to the notes that I was intending to do, so let's do that. There. Um, this is not supposed to be here, though it's actually a post, so maybe it should be here. I should list, like, useful post ones. Where's the other one? Yeah, I know where it is. It's here. Here. That one. That's the last one we used. Um, it was a bit funny that when we found this information, we found this too. And when I looked here after I filled it in, this is what we used to find this one too. But for this one, we have this end. So we have not run this. We'll see if we need to run it. And if we do, I wish I hadn't read the no hint for this one before finishing more. Um, what is the name of the share likely created by the user? So, to actually cheat then, this is domain information. It's probably not related to the share, right? Uh, so let's go back here and see uh, what we can find. Uh, we have all the commands just right here. Um, it's not system commands, it's like, uh, it could be networking, I guess, but I'm thinking file there. Let's, let's look at these, file, 
System commands. I'm thinking there should be something like shares or something. Core commands. Use the tool as macro, you have to write something like the macro, yourself in another languages. And you can use it many times. Use the tool as macro. You have to write something like the macro. Comma, comma, okay. Uh, Okay, so if I were to use this a lot, I could make my own, like, all yes, but macros, <laughs> I guess, huh? Um, we found the system for here, so this is how far I can do a quick read. But now we're looking for... Um, um, I can look at that later with the, the macros, but I don't imagine I will use this. I don't think I'm using a lot. I'm sorry, Christy, if you're listening. <laughs> Though I will try to use it so that I remember it. And not spend months not looking at it at all. Um, yeah, let's, let's do the one they suggested, because I don't think it has anything to do with this, too. So, if we, if we control C this one, and uh, we go back, and we use, I think I still have it in the paste, yeah. So, if we do this one. And we go options. Definitely have to set the uh, yeah session there. Um, but I need to know what it is first. And it's number one again because we restarted it. Yeah. So set session um, one. And options. So it's just a single one, and then we can gather domain info. And this is kind of hinting us in the direction of maybe we can Windows gather something else. We'll see. Um, and we got that tip to use MSF Venom's search functionality to be able to grab the results. That was a nice tip. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just run. And that was very much information. Um, so that was all. So if we go back again and we search uh, for Windows Gather and we'll see what we can find. Uh, so we can get a memory dump, we can get a lot of things, credentials. Uh, as always reading backwards here. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm thinking we have lots of other things. All right, we also have the next question after is the NTLM hash for our user. So we already know that we can just hash dump that. Or if it was a dump hash. <laughs> I really see that problem with where this first. USB is three. Credentials total commander. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Does it save the, the information? I guess everything does. And I was thinking as I started, oh, we're already at C, but I can see that we have 150 left to go. <laughs> Should do this a bit quicker. Outlook email messages. Smart hash dump. Okay. Um. Maybe we should have set the session to set to G session instead. <laughs> Seem to be a lot of things to do here. All oh, right, I should have had post in that one too. Post Windows Gather. And we still have 100 to go. Here are the enum ones, so... Lots of enums. Nice. Sorry if I'm boring, insisting on reading it all. But it's giving me insight into things, you know? If there is one of these, maybe you should be careful with that information. Seven hours is due like a working day. Translated from Swedish. Yeah, the thing is that before I started with this, I worked for four hours. And then I drove home and got the kids food. <laughs> so uh, it's a bit more than seven hours working day. <laughs> Though I've been like making them food and stuff. And their dad's been home for a bit now too. So. <laughs> yeah. Lots of stuff we can get there. Lots of stuff. Oh. Um. Oops. So. Um. So for the next question, what is the name of the share likely created by the user? So we need to like get shares. Did we have anything in shares here? Uh, so let's let's do a search with that. What did we search? We search Windows. So if we do instead of Windows shares and see if we get anything. Mm. 
in them shares. So this is the number five here. If we do use five. Net view backslash IP dot IP dot IP dot IP. Only commands in here. But I know that you can use normal commands at this prompt too, so some of them. So we're, we're trying to do it the, the Metasploit way here, the, actually the Metropreter way, in, exactly in this one. So since that's a room's name. <laughs> So I'm trying. I, I I gave up last time. I had to do nmap because uh, people in chat told me that it's not possible to do this. So I gave up and and I did as they said. Uh, but let's see uh, if this one. Let well, let's do options. And this is a post one, you know. So. Uh, Currently configured shares. Entered recent. Uh, so we need to set G. The I don't want to do this again. So let's do a session globally this time. And it was one. So if we look at options again, and then we run it. So, um, what is the name of the share likely created by a user? <laughs> uh, so we have the share here. It worked as I hoped. And we used, I, I kind of like that we searched for it and found just a few hints there. It was kind of not looking through a million things long list. So. Uh, we can look at their hint now when we've done it. Uh, so this is what we used. So that's nice. And we can copy in this one instead because this is the format that's easiest to to see. Um, so let's add this to the notes. Uh, there, because these might be useful. In case I can't find things other ways, we have this opportunity to right? Uh, and this I I know already because we did it. So if we go to the right one, and uh, let's go back from this because it's done, and then uh, do sessions I one. And then we do, uh, I think it's hash dump there. And then we're looking for J Chambers and we want this uh, there. And we're going here again. Um, we submitted it and we'll say what was their way. Uh, you will need to migrate to the... Okay, we didn't do that. <laughs> we didn't need that. They're wrong. But we could have migrated to this one in case we didn't... Well... Um... What's the password? Okay. So, uh, where's my link. I assume this is what they want. Trust no one. <laughs> okay, that's a good password. Very, very good. So there. And the hint is, yeah, correct station. Uh, where is the secret txt file located? Full path. Uh, so let's go back. And uh, this is what we had the search for. And let's see if I can remember it. It was F. So search F 
secret dot txt and it took a long time last time so it's nice that we reuse these commands now the the, the post exploit exploitation things are new but we're reusing the commands so they're kind of sticking in the memory <laughs> uh, i'm looking at the next one what's the twitter password revealed in the so we're going to look at the file after this and then there's another look at the file um, another look at the file and then what is the real secret <laughs> So this 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 is the last ones. So if the search command works, it's kind of nothing more to do on this one. We'll see. Um, the good thing with the search one is that last time we did this, we had. Uh, uh, eternal blue connection now we have a different one so it's the same command so how was your day patrick patrick i'll have to say patrick right who was your day har du haft en bra dag And we'll have to, of course, do that view too, just because. And also, we're waiting. Um, yeah, let, let's just open another tab here. Oh, wrong place. So, can you list the shares, dear list, using username and password? Um, right now it's surging, so I don't want to disturb this this thing uh, but we can open a new tab and i just happen to do it in in my browser in firefox instead so uh, should we just try net view here i just have to switch to the tab with the ip there so net oh sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> mm. Net view. Hmm. Um, so the IP is ten, ten, one forty seven, uh, one hundred sixty four. Then we found that this is not a command. <laughs> um, How can it search with none username and password? Get the files list. Uh, it has the session, that's why. And the session has the information. And it's found the file. Uh, so that's how it's searching. You know, we, we have the... Let me scroll up so you, you missed the start. Uh, so what we did first was to log in with actual credentials. Um here in this one uh, windows smb psxec exploit so we're using this we just set the information there and then we got the session so now we sent the session to different things uh, and that's what's being used here <clears throat> so that's how it's connected um so we have one of the files. Let's look for the other path at once. So we know okay, both Okay, with the user, them. but you use the hash to get the password. Yeah, there was another user. So the user we logged in as was this one. This is the one we logged in as. 
And the one they wanted the password for was this one. So that's why. Um, there are several other ones, of course, too. Uh, let's just change this to real secret. Uh, real secret with no S. And then we can look at them. Okay, I get it. Sorry for not being at start. <laughs> well, you mean you didn't spend eight hours with me here? That's horrible of you. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Patrick. Thank you for being here. You don't have to be here all the time, you know. <laughs> so that, that's why I, I love when people talk to me, you know. And this time... Uh, I could actually answer a question too. CM Beat says, "Hello." Hi, CM Beat. Welcome. Hey in. guys. So we now have the path to two files, and we're just going to read them. And um, I'm thinking like, uh, yeah, we're supposed to paste the path to, and they want the full thing with the extension. And the dry letter, so let's just copy all of it and paste it here. There. And then we go for the other one. Uh, so now we don't have to. I was thinking, where was where am I gonna write these in? in should I put it in my notes? And then I realized, you know. Patrico <laughs> says, Can you jam J with the file? Can you meow <laughs> meow the file? <laughs> uh, I'm curious to watch the hints later when we when we done. And I'm not looking at any of them until we we done here. So uh, I'm I can just cat them. I think. So if cat we cat the file. Yeah. So if we paste this, uh, we'll just cat the file. No. Okay. So it failed. Um, could it be ja, translated from Portuguese? Could it be like this? Yeah, it was like that. So, <laughs> uh, no new one on that one. So we're not doing it in the right order or whatever, whatever. So let's do the other one. <laughs> so let's do cat and then I'm going to copy. All right, you, oh, if you're on the wrong screen, you can do exclamation mark right for my right screen, which this is and left for the other one. So I'm going to actually paste this uh, here. And then do the the thing manually. Ah, <sighs> so oh, this one has spaces too. So maybe we should put a few. There. So my Twitter password, and they just want us to tell the password. So. Uh, this is curious. Is the exclamation part a part of the password or is exclamating the thing that we know the password? We'll see if we have to remove it. No, it was that. So if we go back here, we want to see what the hints were. If they wanted us to do the search, yeah. Maybe you are Windows user, then you are more familiar with type smile smile. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I used type actually before to type when, when we used shell instead. I went shell and then I used type because I was at the CMD prompt, so. But I, I prefer cat. <laughs> it's one letter less. <laughs> right? You know, you have to be lazy. You have to. No. So, use a cat command. 
you uh, search F. So we did it the intended way this time. So, so why do it twice? Is it supposed to be more fun to have it twice? Will we learn from this repetition? I don't think so. Uh, anyway, it's time to. I think I think we're done with this one. Uh, anyone want to try something on this? Should we go for the shell and see? We can just we can do the type here. <laughs> Uh, we could type the... Uh, I think I still have... No, I don't have the path. So let's copy this again and let's do type. <laughs> For Patrick. So here. Uh, right. We'll have to go there. So let's do it. Um... Yeah, I know what the problem was though. All right, I can't up arrow, so let's copy it. But I can't arrow, so I'll have to do I'll have to do type, uh, and then I add that, and then we do the path. Cause of course you didn't find it. There's no directory called program, <laughs> and then some kind of odd file called files or whatever. <laughs> So now then, yeah, so this is working too. It just it goes it very cutely there. Um, so <coughs> EFI init pub. So we could look at the users. And I do have to think every time to type. Or Managed maybe more more than script kitty use PowerShell GC alias for get content only two characters. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> that's that's modern. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but then we would have to go uh, let, let's do that too. Let's exit this and go because I did this before. So load uh, PowerShell, uh, uh, PowerShell, shell, I think it was, right, uh, and now we could, <laughs> should we do, get GC, GC here, so just, just typing it, get content, yeah, so it's get content, uh, we need the path too, so let's, let's, do we still have it in the memory? I think so. So let's paste it here. So we've done it three times then. What else should we do on this machine? Should we do something more? Um, I'm not very comfortable yet with... Um, with PowerShell, but maybe I shall add actually GC get content. Um, not just save it in my brain. Wrong machine to tab on. So I'm going to my notes, putting everything in the notes because my memory won't be there forever. So uh, could it be? No, look, that's not what I was looking for. So, um, whatever. Just click anything. Yeah, here we have some file search. So, should I have, I thought I had like a PowerShell, like normal stuff, easy stuff, whatever. Um, uh, PowerShell. Mm commands um so gc uh, well let's do this like this right are we neutral now <laughs> Uh, I also have one for creating accounts and stuff, but this is not the other Windows. It must be. 
create user ad groups. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if we go back here to the this one. Um so we've actually done two learning rooms then today. Um terminating this. Uh or was it three? I think it was two. So this is the next one. And unfortunately we got a hint about this. Or maybe it hints itself. <laughs> okay, yeah it does. It kind of says here, eternal blue. Okay, so that was the hint we got. Uh, deploy and hack into a Windows machine, leveraging common, common misconfiguration. Uh, issues. 30 minutes. I don't think I'll even read this aloud in 30 minutes. Uh, we'll see how much text there is. And also 30 minutes and there's a 19 minute video. I assume that's like the walkthrough. Yeah, why do they have a walkthrough here? Why? So, recon. Uh, scan and learn uh, what exploits this machine is vulnerable to. Are they serious? <sighs> Please note that the machine does not respond to ping. It may take a few minutes to boot up. This room is not meant to be a boot to root CTF. Rather, this is an educational series. Okay, for a complete beginner. Professionals would like to get very little out of this room beyond basic practice as the process here is meant to be beginner focused. Okay. Uh art by one of our members. <laughs> okay. Uh Link to Ice, a sequel to Blue. So there's another room here. Uh, you should get the third box in the series. Okay. And what is this? This is the user. Or doing it through bash using this trick dollar less than file to display dot text. But this <laughs> is one more char than cat. Lots of doing the same thing. Just print file to standard out. Yeah, well that's cool. Dollar. Yeah, and the arrow of the text. Nice, nice. <laughs> and it's also putting characters on both sides, you know, of the file. Uh, but the biggest problem here is the length of the file name. Who made this long file name? <laughs> um, I'm getting a reminder to remind uh, my kids that it's late. I'm just going to check here. Sorry, oh my god. What did I eat? Um, yeah, and our session died, which is a nice it's only sign. Working with Bash. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so does it work with uh, seashell or not? Z, <laughs> as in Kali. Because I tried some stuff with, you know, ways of getting a space character in there. Uh, that works in Bash, but not in C of H. No seashell. No Z shells. <laughs> I was thinking, Zs. Set up. <laughs> so, so, let's continue. So it's nice as this uh, died, because then we know that it notices if something dies. I know this for the future now. Uh, that's nice. And well, we didn't try anything more with that. Maybe that's bad. So, um, so let's, yeah, we want to bye bye this. I haven't used that ZZZZ chill. Oh, no, you haven't. You haven't used this nice shell here? Though, 
I'm just using it because it's there, you know. <laughs> but I don't mind it. But it was kind of annoying. I think it's too far back in the history for me to find. Well, we could... Um, let's then do history grab and... I think, like, yeah, probably, um, like, dollar has to be in there, right? No, just only using no, bash and busy just... box one. I can't. <laughs> of course, it's a regular expression. What if we do this? No, doesn't want, doesn't want it. Doesn't want it. This is kind of funny. I'm, 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 mm, yeah, no way. <laughs> so what I was actually looking for, uh, I think I have it in my mouse. So let's, let's cheat. Even not using the five issue one either. <laughs> the five issue one. Um, so is it here? No, it's probably like Linux, Linux, like shell tips, maybe. No, it's could it be commands? I have like basic stuff here that it's not really tools or anything. Am I blind? I know it's supposed to be somewhere here. Well, these are space things that work. D1SC4RD9 says. <laughs> so close. History vertical bar grip backslash. Okay, so I gave up just at the end. <laughs> Uh, my okay. So, why did I remove that? So, this, but with a backslash. Okay. Um, this was not very useful. I pasted something I shouldn't have. <laughs> Obviously. Patricum <laughs> says. I think using the newer ones like ZSH and Fish is cheating. And thanks for the help there on the command. Uh, okay, it's cheating. It's cheating? Okay. I think like this, that um, I want to be able to use the default wherever I go. Christy says. You know? ZSH is made for babies. Okay. <laughs> I just know that it's was harder to do stuff because it's not bash, you know? So if I know how to do something in both, it's kind of good because <laughs> there might be, I might need to use them, you know? And then you can. So, but since I got interested in this like a year ago, um, I haven't been using Kali for very long, so this is kind of new to me. Uh, but I still don't see... I use it when I'm really lazy. Okay, so... The the LS uh, space LA one there was... I think that was a failure. We can't see the output. But I had lots of different ones. Maybe it was a parenthesis instead. So if we look at this... Yeah, so... <laughs> oh look, we did math <laughs> and played with things and tried things. Um, nah, this is not either. That's not it either. So it's probably this then. <laughs> Here we have more like IFS ones. And when I tried, I think the witch space bash was just a test there. 
And I think that worked on Bash, but not on C Z as age. <laughs> oh, it's a mess. It's a mess. So let's start fresh in our cute new blue hair. I know long ago I had a uh, one called red. <laughs> uh, virtual machine used with this room blue <clears throat> can be downloaded. Okay, so you can play with it. That's kind of nice. Let's look at this site. Maybe there's other fun stuff here. So. Try Hack Me Rooms. And these are the blue. And these are Google Drive. Okay. And what is this? So these are rooms. And here, okay. Okay. Um. Where do I save this for having it useful? Uh, I think I know. Uh, let's put this in the lab notes, because we could lab with this, right? So, lab uh, links. It links to stuff, right? That's very descriptive. Very, very good. Very, very good. Maybe like boxes instead. <laughs> Images. Oh, that's too good. It's not acceptable. It's too good. It's actually what it's supposed to be. Uh, sorry. I think I might be derailing myself a bit here at 8 hours 30 minutes. Uh, why did I have that? So let's go for the this and the this and then we have also oh, this are also these are like tutorial boxes. Well why not? Though I feel like cheating just with this image. And as this is after the MSF console, three rooms of MSF console, I'm kind of thinking that that's what we'll try practicing here. Um, so uh, enjoy the room. And this is the person who made it, of course, that was his, his blog or web page. Scale Patricum the says, many Linux systems not having these newer ones shells, just using bash with bash completions. Yeah, yeah. So bash is like what I know more than these new things. So uh, if I if I like had never used Linux or any Unix. Then I would maybe I should have switched to using Bash instead as default, but now I'm like thinking I want to do the default things wherever they are, you know. And I actually, to test these things, I opened my VSH to Ubuntu to easy test on Bash. I did, though I did on Kali too. I just you know you have Bash and then you're in Bash, so it's very advanced stuff. Um, but it's nice to test in different ones, definitely. And it became very obvious. I was trying to help someone actually, uh, with, uh, they were sending bash commands, um, and didn't work when they tested on their machine. And I was like, maybe there's a difference. Uh, test it anyway. And it worked. So, or I think so. Scan the machine if you're unsure. 
Okay, so we, we're supposed to just scan the machine. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure on this one, if you should just like try or you should just just follow. Oh. Mm. 237 uh, 234 people have woken up and started and the numbers are going up <laughs> is that it? US people leaving their jobs and starting to play <laughs> Ang 31D says hi hey Angel welcome in welcome back and now we have three Swedes here talking. <laughs> so we'll, we'll just Listening switch. Listening while lurking. B. <laughs> okay. Thank you for lurking. So <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll have to switch a little stream over to Swedish. Though I don't know what 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 is saying Swedish. <laughs> um. You know. If I read something in English, I think in English, so it's kind of hard to to switch languages like that. And like typing messages while speaking English is impossible. Why didn't I click a flower? I could have done a... I would have had time for... Full. Swedish? You mean heard a birdie, Swedish chef, tongue. <laughs> Christy says... Hi Angelino smile same here mostly, we'll set it to mobile as well while walking dog in a bit smile. Yeah, so thanks everybody for being here and keep me company. Uh, we'll see uh, what this box. I think actually the first question is how many uh, open ports with a number under a thousand. So we should have done the full one at once. Because the cons answer is it's just selected points. I don't Hang think they, it's says, all ones under a thousand. Have a happy right? walking. <laughs> yeah, Christy, have a nice time with the dog. It's always nice to get out, even if it's like. That's a good thing with having a dog. You always get go outside, even if you're like, oh, it looks looks dark and cold and rainy and snowy or snowstorm or you know always going outside and you oh it was nice to be outside you know <laughs> you're always there <laughs> unfortunately i'm allergic so otherwise i would have lots of animals i'm actually starting to get a bit hungry um i'm thinking if i should get something quickly uh, there we got the first one. So let's just do the full one. Uh, at once. And let's make notes on this one. Okay, right? We 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 saying this is a box, and we're making the notes. Uh, so I haven't made notes on on these rooms. <clears throat> Maybe I should have that open. Uh, let's first check if there was not one with his name right. Uh. <laughs> Patrikung says, Is this the plane and you have? Uh. Sorry, do you mean Obsidian? Hack the server before. Christy says. Is there a blue one already? And I don't think so. Um, no, I, I, I have like not done money at all, though it's increasing kind of quickly also, now. Also, Patrikum, you can use the command substitution syntax dollar less than file dot text in both Bash and ZSH. Okay, so it works in. Let let's let me copy the <laughs> let me copy the TTS Z S H <laughs> but Z sounds so much better <laughs> right but no one understands what I'm talking about so the blue one let's make some notes there let's make a zero uh, in the phone 
And we have the IP. So let's get the IP here. Translated from Indonesian. <laughs> yeah. Have a great walk. Hope you all have nice weather. I think we have. I'm not outside, so... Patrikung says, Christy THX4 Todd, but some old shell don't support that. Like the busy box one. Yeah, but you can always... It's good to know different things, you know. Something might work from all the things you have in your head. And now we actually have the great timing to type this exactly when the this got finished. 143 seconds. So um, I'm assuming that we have lots of words now. So, was it actually the same? Uh, let's just see here. Uh, instead of counting myself. <laughs> I'm just looking for... Oh, whatever. I think it's the same. Uh, not that it matters, but... And it is a, it said it was very noob friendly, so maybe it's intentionally no other ports than what to test by default. Um, Christy says. Patrico I see. Nice to know. And I like this coloring. I like it. I like obsidian. Uh, so it, it makes this much easier to read, right? So the first question is how many ports below 1000? And this seems to be three. So let's just answer the question. Uh, so <laughs> what is this a hint on how to use Nmap? It's always interesting to see people's... We have a VV one here. And script of all. Well, let's copy this one and run it too. And I think it was three, right? And yeah, read the results of the first command. <laughs> um... Patrikung says. Christy, you have to use the old Technics like dollarcat file dot text. Fixerbot says, "Time to move it, move it." Five table push-ups redeemed. <laughs> Hi, Glacky. Nice to know you're still there. <laughs> okay, we going. We doing a team effort here. We this is our fourth. Is it the third or fourth? I think it's the fourth, right? I don't Go know. says, <laughs> "Ha ha." Okay. Was in meetings and lurking before. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks for lurking. I will match you push up for yeah? push ups. Yeah, sure. So let's do it again. So, push up time, waking up time, too. So, just table ones for me, because <laughs> tiny floor and untrained me. I'm doing 10. Good workout. Yeah, since I'm, my socks are slipping, so I have to use my tummy too. <laughs> Patrikung says, I prefer the pushed up smile smile. Ang 31D says, 1, 2, skip a few, 4, 5, do it again. <laughs> Go Aku says, yeah. 10 here. I should do 10 more. Do 10 more. Um, I disabled the jumps because my back has a bad day, but 
You can do the other things if you want. <laughs> they should be enabled at least. So, you'll have to use all of your points. No. 100 or I think so. Could be one, two, it doesn't matter. There's a timeout of five minutes, I think. No? Three minutes? Five minutes? Five minutes. So, um, I didn't paste this, right? Did I paste it? I pasted it, of course I did. So, let's see what we can read here. Uh, we did not actually run their command, that was the next thing. So, suggested. I suggested nmap. Because we will find something there. Right. Good energy boost. I wish my Alexa could remind yeah. me to do push ups if it senses my heart rate is slow. Oh, that would be cool, right? I don't think we have Alexas in Sweden, do we? Have they. I need um, to get a new Fitbit. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was actually. I think I had it here. I was going to. I tried connecting this to stream before, you know, mostly because Security Live, he had this heart, you know, it was kind of fun. But with this one, uh, I have to have a app, like running app, on too, or it will just fall asleep. So, <laughs> no connection updates there. Uh, and their app, I guess. As much as that needs to stay alive. Uh, like a watch is always live. Um, not to derail too much here. Let's do that end map. And I think I copied it. Uh, and the thing here that we didn't do is the volume bit script volume. And this is kind of interesting. So let's do it. Uh, again. I'm looking for the IP on the wrong machine, <laughs> tapping the wrong one. So 10, 10. Oh my god, I can't type 10, 10. Is that 8 hours and 28 minutes fault? No, it's not. It's just me. Uh, 34. Um, there. And if someone notice I'll have to go live. Uh, tell me, so I'm intending to raid, but I don't really keep track, so if he goes live, I'm going to just raid there. So I thought I'd, I'd stream. <laughs> the length of the stream depends on if he's early. If he doesn't stream, then he said he would, right? He said he would. Uh, no messages in his Discord yet, at least. So, uh, that's usually a good sign. <laughs> so, uh, let's look at this scan now. I'll have to have that up. Um, so... <clears throat> yeah, just checking that you're seeing the same thing I do. And I popped up Discord over it, so I had to open it up again. Um, Patrikung says, <sighs> Time for you to go home. Eight hours mark. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> nah. Actually, uh, I started uploading my my streams from Twitch to YouTube, and uh, <laughs> uh, the last one didn't work because it was twelve hours forty minutes, <laughs> and twelve is apparently the limit, so I'll have to split it up before I upload it. Uh, so I'll have to, you know, take it from Twitch, or I have it already. Uh, split it up and then upload it. Uh, so I'm pr I'll probably do stream to both just to get the the upload automatically, you know. 
But eight hours, it's kind of long. But yeah, you know, when is Al supposed to start streaming? Not that that says much, maybe. I don't want to be like negative about it. I'm glad when people, you know, prioritize their lives. But today I thought I was thinking that I'll, I'll stream until he starts. So that's kind of my limit here. Uh, so, and I'm not tired at all, so though I, I woke up at, like it says, 6 and started streaming as soon as I worked four hours and then lunch and got home. Um, midlife for the kids. There, so what is the difference now? Of course the VV, I hate the VVs. Why did I do that? We could have just done the script bit. Use Kali and WSL. Uh, not yet, though I've thought about it, because I had this, this has been here before, before this one year <laughs> interest limit, you know, uh, so it's been here for a bit. Um, <clears throat> not open today, apparently. Uh, also, I don't like the networking, you know, VSL. It's messy. Uh, maybe you can configure the networking. Like in Docker, you can configure what type of networking you want. Maybe you can do that. Kali and VM and Hyperv, VB. Uh, the reason that I have my Kali line down here is this. So, VMware, we'll see <laughs> how long it survives, whatever happens. So let's, let's read this. I'm just not liking extra lines in here. I'm not impatient. I just want short information. Completing things getting DNS did it did it did it, it discovered open port. So this is not anything advanced. Oh my god, I'm also rerunning it without a VV. <sighs> this is horrible. Okay, uh, I learned I will never do this again. I will never do this again. The VV. <laughs> so much to read with me being not tired, but I'm actually, I think, more. L like less tired, more energetic than I was after lunch. VMware. When I started. Okay, that's Pog. Like the new kid says it. <laughs> um, I want to do some kind of dedicated virtual, maybe like Proxmox or something. Uh, but I don't know what machine has to have more than like four gigs of RAM, right? Um, so let's see. How is this? Uh, scan that. Not shown. Yeah, we didn't do P. Because uh, they didn't do that. So we're using theirs now. So that's why we didn't have to do P. Dash P dash. So. Uh, It's like my eyes are thinking this is very hard to read and they're complaining by starting to hurt. I should not have done the VV. Let, let's redo it while, while I'm trying to read this. Let's redo this without the VV. Uh, maybe uh, to, to at least compare the output. So here it finds the vulnerability. 
so I'm assuming we don't have to stand all of these other ones on the next one. Uh, so it wants us to just copy the uh, this one. No, just this bit. I think. You talk before you have a friend that's now need to migrate to another hypervisor. Now Proxmox came with an update with tool to migrate from VM not aware. Uh huh. Yeah. Is is my hubby, my husband. Uh, his work, but I don't think Proxmox was like for a company that loss does loss of hosting. You know. Uh, m might not be professional enough. Um. Hmm. Yeah, but this is interesting. So they're probably uh, when he has time. It seems to be like people have stopped working at the company and. Uh, <laughs> They need more people, and the boss doesn't like hire. Uh, not that they don't want to, they're just not so quick. Hmm, so let's see if we can compare the outputs now. And also, of no, course, we need to save that the not scan. For Busnasar. That's for like us home labs kitties. Yeah, exactly. So. Um, it's not finished the second scan because I would prefer to save these to the notes. Um, so these are this ultimately scans for these, which is kind of nice. Maybe I should add this to my normal nmap scans. And it's a script vol bit. Uh, I'll have to look exactly what it does. Because, uh, let's see what the normal one did. Yeah, we can look at it first. I'm just reading it. And this is quick to read. No extra information. And next place name and stuff like that we get. But we get no information about vulnerabilities because it's not looking. And then when we look, we find this. So uh, I want to see the, the result to compare. Yeah, it's done now. So now we have much less information. We just have the list. Like the normal one, we have the list of the parts, and then we have the script results. But I think XCPing is more for professionals. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know that several people gave me the tip about that. Um, and they had, uh, I looked a bit at it, and they had support. You can select if you wanted, like, business support and things, right? I think so. Hmm. Yeah, I'll mention it again to him. I'm not sure if he has the time <laughs> though yet. Uh, since they had to continue the VMware thing for three years, uh, they have a bit of time to move over to something else. And new system would have to go to something else, so they will have to pay more. To be aware, that more than double the price. <laughs> and they are like some kind of partner, you know? <laughs> and still, just bye bye. <laughs> uh, 
uh, and even the company that they have the connection through, uh, we probably have to stop too because of that. We'll see. I don't think m lots of people are happy about what what they did there. Um, anyway, let's let's copy the scan, and it will be even more readable in Obsidian. So, if we compare these two, um, this one has the C too, and this one has the script, vol. Um, and here we know that it tests these. Is it just these four? Or does it test more ones? Uh, let's go back to, to the right green. Because I thought that, yeah, here we have this one, but it's just the order that's different. So it's not, it's still four. It scans four here too. Um, so maybe it checks for what operating system it is, and then it selects what which ones to scan for. And then we like the most common ones or something. Mm, maybe on the version too. What do you think? Do you know, people? Um, is this in maps with more IPS on the network? Is this in maps with? Um, this is just for one IP. I don't know what you mean. Of course, there are more IPs on the network. <laughs> um, so this is a scan they suggested. I just removed the VV. So we don't have to do a full one. Okay. Yeah, just yeah. One PC. It's just... This is the a learning room still, though it's kind of a mix between a box and a learning room, I guess, because it's it's you know it starts with a twenty minute long tutorial if you want to see, or like walk through. It's kind of odd otherwise, right? And then it says uh, this room is not meant to be a boot room city ever. Although this is not edition educational for complete beginners. So. Uh, actually, the only room that didn't fit so far in the complete beginner is the upload vaults. Uh, that was another level. Uh, so, depending on what you think of that. So, let's just see what. Uh, revealed by the Shadow Broker that exploits an issue with. Yeah, okay, so that was just. Oh. I was hoping for something like more. And it's still there, that video we don't want to see. So. Uh, exploit the machine and gain a foothold. Yeah, and I'm assuming since. There have been three Metasploit rooms before this that we're supposed to use Metasploit. Um, oh, we just did this in at least two rooms. Maybe I should have had a break between so it wouldn't be so, like, you know, better repetition with a distance between it. Between the rep it repeats. Um, so I'm going to, for the first time, I think, in my notes, add a Metasploit note. Well, uh, we will do it. So, MSF console. And I'm going to 
be lazy and copyless and pissed. I've seen too many Ipsex streams, I think. Okay, okay. So, I've never seen an Ipsex stream. Seriously. W when? When do they stream? I've heard about them. I look at it. There is a YouTube channel. I haven't had time to, to look at it. So I'm actually pasting that. Uh, new new level of listeners. <laughs> I love Shell. How cute. So. Yeah, so tell me more. I don't think you can see too many videos or so, something. Can you? So we have started it. Do do do. We get a hint even how to do. Yeah. So that's the level of this one. <laughs> Finds the exploitation code running against the machine. What's the full path? And now we have the name. And um yeah, I usually in my in my notes, I usually from the end map, I would usually like paste the ports here. Um They like this information more than than this format. So maybe I should do just to do it. No, I didn't open a new tab. I intended to do that to be able to scroll easier. Uh, whatever. If second John Hammond is my goto, then we speak hack the box thingy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so John Hammond has he don't like hack the box thingies. Because it's usually just like random interesting things what he does right now I think right um, um, so I should look at but but this ipsic streams or is it just YouTube or is it YouTube streams no he also create boxes yeah yeah I I know that he did a box recently right that was kind of hard. I know that Gar was the second one that that managed to do it. I think he sent sent an image in Discord. That's cool. <laughs> uh, on the Discord event, he was like, "Oh, I I haven't I've done it yet. I haven't finished it yet. I've been." I've been doing it for an hour. <laughs> I'm like, uh, maybe, maybe it should take more time than one hour. If it's hard enough that only one person before has done it. <laughs> you can visit Ipsec webpage to search all yeah, things. Yeah, right, Web right. Link. Yeah, that's that's great. I have this link, but I have never used it. Why haven't I used it? I don't know. Oh, there's a stream calendar. Let's look at it. So it's kind of empty. Maybe this is why I didn't know. Yeah, I, I didn't know he was streaming because he doesn't stream anymore, maybe? Or maybe not scheduled. He streams um, not a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm actually starting to get kind of hungry, so I'll need to get a sandwich. I was thinking of doing it uh, a while ago. Um, so I'll be like, uh, maybe I'll just start a sandwich. Uh, I, <laughs> I have these, you know, half-cooked sandwiches that you just put in the... Uh, in the air fryer and I do five minutes and then they're like newly baked so nice um, the air fryer is a that's the best investment for years <laughs> definitely very great um, yeah I, I'll have to look more at this again so uh, let's just find this one before 
uh, and the reason why I was going for my notes again was to actually copy the name here. By yeah. four now, go get a snack. Smile, smile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not forgetting it. I just realized that why I went for the notes. So let's just do the search here. I know it's quick, but let's let's anyway um, right there. And I'll be right back. Piglet BRB smile smile. Oh, I wasn't going to stand there and watching the timer going from four minutes. <laughs> uh, everything. I've got like butter and cheese and ham and stuff done beside it there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Time just runs. It's just disappears <laughs> into nothing so uh usually it's just zero right oh yeah it's zero nine hours mark 
Yeah. Almost there. <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> yeah, and I'll have to keep track of the discard. There. Of course, I could do that in my phone. Uh, I've got lots of messages. Uh. So, let's see. I'm just going to open up the Discord on my phone so that I can see it once if I get anything there. So... There, so... I can see if this pops. Um, right, let's uh, use zero and mm, options now it was like a few minutes ago <laughs> uh, and we need to set uh, set a G right because we might use it more than once uh, L host uh, 10 18 21 26 oh my god well, well, that's the food, the sandwiches. So I'll just split them in the middle and put some butter and stuff on. Um, so <clears throat> I'll be right back again.
there. Ah, I have some roast beef too, but I think uh, that's for tomorrow, I think. Just some um, cheese and, and ham. That's kind of too sweet. <laughs> So. Would VPN or THM using open from a wire guard? Maybe you can use them both. Uh, what VPN? Uh, uh, I use uh, open VPN, wire guard. Maybe you can use them both. I don't know. Uh, I don't know anything about WireGuard, I think. <laughs> I think that's a good good thing to say, right? Um, I'll just take some nose spray because eating with it's allergies, you know. These are just like newly baked <laughs> and the cheese just melted. That's the new VPN thingy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Let's do a quick look then. Though I just remembered how messy this page is. Ah, oh, no, I won't. Maybe here though. I can't middle click. Roast beef with horseradish. Horseradish. <laughs> uh, I'm allergic to radish too. <laughs> Hmm. So we actually have the answer to this one. Um let's let's put it there. I'm just scrolling up here to we got the full name with exploit. Pepperot. Mm, I can eat that. But m like most nuts and roots and stuff. Like uh, I'm allergic to carrots too. But I think like the white ones, you know, I can eat. But not the orange ones. Um, so I just, I'm just copying this thing. Pissing it here. There. <laughs> but this is a good tip. We don't need to search all of the numbers, just the M is seventeen then apparently. Oh. My back. Um uh today at my work work um someone delivered a package that was kind of heavy. And they just dropped it in my arms. And I can't lift heavy things. My back is not good, you know? So I was like, I stood there for a second. I said, I, ca I can't hold this. And he was like, uh, totally ignoring me. So I put it just inside the door. But that was enough, you know, for me to have pain now. <laughs> oh, so annoying. It was heavy, like 
it wasn't big. It was just like this, but it was just metal. Compact metal, that is not a big, like a hollow metal thing. <clears throat> uh, show options and set the one required value. Um. Mm. What? Why did I type something? That's that's looks odd. Oh, I'm scrolling. <clears throat> well, of course, our our hosts, but that's not the only required one. So this is not good. But that was the wrong number of letters. So we can't just set that, then we won't get a a reply. Uh so let's uh set a for that one too. Ten dot ten dot two hundred thirty seven dot and I'm thinking as I, I work, do this work as a consultant and I don't have an insurance on my company so I've been thinking I should kind of have that um, there um, let's look at options again Let's see if we missed anything. If we had user on post, we could put it there. So, <clears throat> I guess we'll just run it. Um, let's, it's, it's saying more things. Let's look at it. Usually, it would be fine to run this exploit as is. However, for the sake of learning, you should do one more thing before exploiting the target. Enter the following command and press enter. So let's let's look here. It has a default, and I know that when we select it, um, here defaulting to this. Um, and this is not what they said. Then they said Windows X sixty four shell reverse TCP. So they switched the meter peer bit to shell. Oh my God, my my back is not good now. Um, it won't help to stop streaming, you know. So I I must have been some way you know, when I had oh, a bad run on the. Um, well, for 13 work hours work day, or it was 14. Alright, we had already typed one, so we'll have to delete it. So we have a variation here now. 
of how we did it last time. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. So now we got the shell lit one since we switched to the shell one. This is good learning. Oh. <laughs> Sorry for eating. This is very good. But I don't think I will have space in my tummy for four of these halves. But I did too, because they look so good. Mm. Mm. Confirm that the exploit has run correctly. You may have to press enter for the DOS shell to appear. Uh, background this shell. If this failed, you may have to reboot the target VM. <laughs> uh, try running it again before a reboot of the target. Um, let's background it, but we'll complete it before so we don't have to switch back and forth so much. There, I'm sure this will work. <laughs> but that kind of says all about the stability, right? So if we go sessions, we should have number one there. And this is the first time I haven't had the meter breeder one. Uh, And I guess that if we would have changed the port, we could have just put this one uh, open to Netcat instead and receive this connect web, right? <coughs> uh, I'm curious how the Media Freedom one works. What's where? How is the communication different from the shell? So we have the next one. So I thought I thought that this the blue was a box actually, but it's it's not. Um Yeah, we have to scroll down. I'm like what? Uh escalate privileges learn how to upgrade shells in Metasploit. If you haven't already, back from the previously gained shell uh, research online how to convert a shell to be the British shell in the meta spot. Oh. Um, I'm not sure we need to research. We can try searching first, right? Right. What is the name of the post module we will use? And they give a big hint here that's a post, right? Exit path. So let's let's search this. And first we do back. Um, I have to click to so back and then we search um, um, post meter reader Windows shell I think I had too many words No
Fixerbot says. New follower 7 he be 1 sh 0 p. Welcome in. Less than 3. <laughs> Welcome in the bishop. Welcome in. Uh, sorry for eating. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot again to switch where I'm typing. <laughs> Use 15. There. And let's. Uh, options. And. Set. Session. One So, did it actually finish? Yeah. So, <clears throat> if we sessions again, so we have now both. So it keeps the old one too. Mm, so well, let's. Oh my god, I green screen toggled myself. Was it visible? Uh, do we have anything green? <laughs> my toothpaste. Yeah, so it's it's off again. <clears throat> so let's see now. <clears throat> uh, let's just check the, the questions. Uh, so that's a quiet option. All oh, right, we had something before. Uh, select this. Use module path. Oh, okay, okay. You can't mention the name of this, of course. Uh, what option do you need to change? You need to change uh, a session just right. Uh, session. And then we have sets of required option and we need a list. Uh, yeah. We did that uh, run. If it doesn't work, I can. Uh, it worked. Uh, uh, select what session. Okay, they want us to, to start the, the session too. Yeah, we. Whatever. Uh, should we look at the hints? I usually want to see them afterwards, so... What? You just need to do sessions. Also, it says that you should do show options when you just have to do options. Why does it say this? Okay, so that's how... Okay, okay. Sure. <clears throat> um, yeah, and we kind of verified this, you know, from just... Just watching this. Um, but let's... Let's start it. So, uh, session... Uh, click... Uh, session I two. Uh, I forgot the S. That's not the first time. There, so <clears throat> uh, it wants us to do get system. Uh, 
Okay, so they use get system to confirm instead of just using what we used before. Let's just check the notes first. Um, tabbing in the wrong window, so. Um, I should have opened this as in, in a new in a new tab and let's go back in this one. Here and let's see um sys info get get UID. So let's do our way first uh to confirm it. The the way that we've learned today. So get UID. There we have the username. So why would we confirm it with get system, which is attempt to elevate your privilege? Well, let's do it anyway. Get system. Already running a system. Yeah. I think the first one is better information, right? Or just looking at the listing. Um, there, let's see now. <clears throat> uh, verify. Uh, feel free to open a dust shell and one. Uh, oh my. Yeah, we, we have done that enough times, I think. Uh, list all the process running. Uh, just because this doesn't mean uh, where this doesn't mean our processes. Find a process towards the bottom of the list is running. <coughs> and then write down the process ID. <laughs> um, migrate to this process far down. This is interesting. So how they they won't know the process IDs. Or will they? No, they won't. <laughs> so if we do PS now, and uh, let's say we migrate to uh, 30, 52. Failed, access denied. This is what I had very much, you know. So let's do <laughs> migrate 30, 36. Reason died. Um, just getting messages on my phone. <clears throat> so, it died. So sad. <laughs> um, so, so we still have the shell one, so we can just run this again. Mm -hmm. That's a shorter message, I think. No, it was just different, different listing. No, we didn't get anything this time. So, <clears throat> so if we go to See if this one is dead too, but it doesn't realize, you know. Okay, so what's it done? Well, let's compare it to the other one.
This was a migrating. Before this, we have the heavy help. And then before this, it should be. here. So last time we got the meter printer session 2 open before we got to stopping. So we didn't get this this time. <clears throat> Just to confirm. And then what was typing was sessions I1 and we still have this. Um, so now we have no sessions. So if we go back now and we go like up to the top, right? Is this really quicker? No, because this is lots of other stuff there too. It wasn't the top. This is what we wanted. Then we want to use zero. And we'll see if the box is still alive. And no, we don't want to mess about with this, right? It's still shell. <clears throat> so, was it set? Because it's not used, right? I'm just scrolling up here to the gain access bit. And so we see what it does. Yeah, it was set to payload. So if we do this command again, but now with the other one, though I don't know what, what useful thing that will be, but just testing stuff. <coughs> so the actual default was that, I think. And we seem to have typed it right. So if we do options now, um, since I, okay, I have low battery on my ear, I'm just switching. So, this one. Blue is connected, battery full, again. <laughs> That's the fourth time I switch ears, but one of them was because it was like, uncomfortable. Mm. <clears throat> so, so third time I switched because I had used like one, dun, dun, dun. so not the fourth time. Um, <laughs> I'm like, what was I doing before it told me stuff in my ear? Uh, I'm adding a, an hour to to the box, so this IP is correct. This this IP is also correct. So if we run this now, we should get the uh, the meter one at once. If the machine is still up and it seems to be answering. There, so I'm just scrolling down to where we were actually. It died when we tried to migrate. <clears throat> so we did PS. And the instructions say 
find a process towards the bottom of the list that is running uh, at, not as, in the authority system and write down the process ID. And then we, <coughs> uh, let's click complete on this one. Migrate to this process using the migrate process ID command, where the process ID is the one you just put down in the previous step. This may take several attempts, and migrating process is not very stable. If this failed, you might need to rerun. I didn't read this before, but we have already done this. The conversion, we tried to rerun this, uh, but we didn't manage that, it failed, but we didn't have to reboot it, we just had to rerun the first bit. So let's let's continue trying to migrate. But now we know that it's normal to fail. Uh, so if we were to try migrating to get a more stable thing, maybe this is not the thing to do. Maybe just get our info. <clears throat> so migrate. Um, all right, we, we, we took too long. I'm going to do PS again because uh, one time I did this, uh, it was too old. Uh, so we're going to do 3052. It's very towards the end. And then we do mm, 2640. Because I'm guessing that the 2928 is us. Um, so if we do 2928, yeah, we're all there to do that. So um, let's do then uh, 25. 60, just confirming that it's an anti-sort system. Access is denied. Uh, so there's no nothing more to us end that meets the criteria of being an anti-authority system. Is this towards the end? EC2 config. <laughs> okay, let's do uh, migrate uh, 16, 16. We had a lot more tries now. Woohoo! It worked. So, we did that successfully. That was the first time it was successful for me. Uh, so, let's continue in this and see what they want us to do. I did click complete. Uh, okay, let's update the page. <laughs> Uh, well, this looks good. It worked. And apparently we managed to click the, the thing that didn't show it was clicked. Uh, dump the non-default user's password and crack it. So um, for the third time today we're going to do hash dump, but this time it actually tells us which in the two previous we had to find it ourselves. So, oh well. Uh, Alright, I have to click hash dump. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Error while running command. Uh, undefined method ID for nil cost. So this is nice. So, non default user. I'm thinking we have the information we need there anyway. So. 
Um, I'm just reading the question. Will the uh, this will dump all of the passwords on the machine as long as we have the correct privileges to do so. What is the name of the non-default user? Uh, Yon. Uh, copy the password hash. <sighs> Just the room before we did this too, I'm starting to get a bit annoyed, not only by the repetition, but that if this is like the room after, and we were supposed to find this out ourselves in the last room, it's, you know, lowering the difficulty. So... Uh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> I want it to be harder, not easier. Alright. So, now we have find flags. Rock you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> find the three flags bent on this machine. These are not traditional flags, rather. We're meant to represent key location within the window system. And we already found the FTP flag before, so I guess that... Uh, we'll see. I guess one of these is the FTP one. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe it's not the same, you know, box. It's not the same one. I'm just thinking maybe they copied them. Um, Three flags. And then they have the links for the other ones again that we already have up. Uh, can be found as a system root. Okay. Um, so let's see how, how dead this one is. It kind of crashed there, but we'll go back to there. So if we do uh, load a PowerShell here. New follower Dimitri Maximoft of sex. Less than three. Welcome in. <laughs> Dimitri Maximov DevSex. <laughs> Welcome in. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, I'm thinking, should I do PowerShell? I'm more comfortable with the with the DOS one. For just finding a Christy file. Christy says, back. Welcome back, Christy. How was your walk? Let's try this one. Um, so, I always get like, I can't lsla in PowerShell, it's ls, and we get lots, and we're in here, so this is not fun. Um, Ty we... was okay. Yeah, good, good. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, should I ls or should I enter? <laughs> Or should I just look for text files, you know? Maybe we should just look for text file with a search function. Um, or in here. But I, they said root. And I saw that we were in, uh, in the system variety too. So if we ls here, I'm thinking there's a flag there. And I should use the PowerShell command right now. <laughs> So let's cheat, cause uh, I think is it was it G G C, right? Flag nice. So let's let's look at the notes and see that I can find my notes. I think I added four um, G C windows translated from Dutch. Yeah, yeah, but we're Get content. Yeah, was that what I said? I don't know anymore. So let's see if I can find my notes. If it was a good name, I can find it again. And there we have it. So it was findable. We did good, right? Though maybe I should have that up still, you know. We might want to add something to this one, since we're actually here now. Guess Cat will work, maybe. Yeah, Cat, Cat will be an alias, but I'm trying to learn, you know. I'm trying to learn. And probably type would work too. So let's let's start with um, GC. Uh, I did switch 
screen right for you guys so you can see <clears throat> so x of the machine uh, in there in there and what was the hint can you see it <gasps> that was fun <laughs> <coughs> uh, this flag can be found at the location where passwords are stored within Windows. Uh, Windows really doesn't like the location of this flag and can occasionally delete it. It may be necessary in some cases to terminate, restart the machine, and rerun the exploit to find this flag. Uh, this is relatively rare, however. It can happen. I don't remember where, it's, where it is. Um... Isn't it System32? That would be kind of annoying. Because it's... Um, I'm thinking just searching for TXT files. That's what I'm thinking. Or we can like... Uh, we can practice getting the directories uh, in PowerShell ease. Right. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, last time I did a search just for files, you know, uh, in this, it crashed. So I'm thinking I should do this in the easiest way. So if I exit this, exit. Okay, um, <clears throat> so if we now search and we do, I wonder if it does stars, if we do like star here, mm -hmm. if we do this, will it ask us, <laughs> will it just write all files, should I control C this? Let's give it two seconds. <laughs> um, help search. Yeah, I already did that. Just when I clicked, I remember it doesn't doesn't work. So, uh, yeah, it can do stars. Good, because I don't want to start something that takes eternity. Search star.txt <coughs> uh, Valid Oh my goodness, I forgot the dash f mm, Yeah, it's called flag 2, right D1SC4 RD9 says People, please don't name your secret documents secret dot doc. <laughs> and this shouldn't be case sensitive, so this should work, right? And the first one is lowercase. Mm hmm. And I think for this to work, I had to change the direction of the slashes. I need to see. <laughs> Why do we need a C? And we have no spaces. There. I'm just pasting. And the hint where to so um 
It's System 32. I thought it was in System 32, but I didn't remember that it was exactly in config. So maybe I should actually take this to my notes. And uh, we have the event that I was kind of waiting for. We have just one key more, so let's do this uh, a bit quickly. So let's do the same for flag 3. And I assume that we are at the right place here, kind of just a big buggy prompt. So let's cat this key. And then we're going to raid El Hasred and no one dare leave <laughs> before I'm done with this. Uh, so let's see. No spaces in there to either. So, um, and you're watching the right screen. Good. So, there. There we go. That was kind of. Because it was kind of repetition, so it was kind of, you know. Oh, and I have started on this one. So. <clears throat> You kind of need us to do other stuff before here. That's why Christy they're says. actually required. Christy, one hundred and seventy GG. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's it's time for my stream not to become even more hours. <laughs> we're closing up to ten hours, <laughs> and we're done about three learning rooms, I think. So um. I'm just going to actually manage to uh, spell <laughs> the name. So, and also I'm opening a uh, piss. Uh, you're right on, on the right side. And I'm going to copy. I'll has read. I'm going to type. Copy pasta. Raid. <laughs> yeah, raid. <laughs> Paste there, so <laughs> we going over there. So thanks everybody for the help. Thanks for the great company. Thanks for all the nice discussion and the training. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's continue having a great time in our last red stream. Bye bye bye. I'm clicking TNX the less than three. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Translated from Haitian Creole.
All right, fuck it, let's get started. Let's do this, I gotta get back to work after, uh, after this. So the quicker I get started, the quicker that I can get back on network. We probably need to lay low right now anyways. Because they are investigating. Our POC says they don't think it's malicious. <laughs> They're just seeing a lot of weird crowd strike alerts and they don't know what that's about. A lot of really weird crowd strike alerts happening on that network. Very weird stuff there. No, definitely nothing to be concerned about. Our, our POC says they don't think it's malicious. Um, so, we're just laying low right now. Uh, what, like, so, so here's the thing, alright? So, so here's the, here's the deal. So, so here's the, here's the fact of the matter, okay? Listen, this is the same environment I was says, talking about last week. Where new follower is dialed up to Less a ridiculous than three. degree. Okay? New follower project so, you might Raven. think this is a good Less thing, than three. okay? I'm being disrupted because... I'm being disrupted because CrowdStrike is so out of its mind that it, it is uh, that it's blocking a lot of the stuff that I would normally do, and this is not incorrect. But let's let's put on our thinking caps for a second here, fellas. What are the downsides to CrowdStrike being dialed up to that fucking degree? What are the downsides? Yeah, it's too noisy. CrowdStrike is probably generating a fuckload of alerts. It's generating alerts everywhere. Stuff we're, 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 that we're not even doing. It's, it's generating alerts all over the place. And so, yeah, we've generated a ton of alerts. So, but, but this team is clearly not seasoned in figuring out what is actually malicious versus what is CrowdStrike just losing its mind over for no reason. Okay? okay, that's the issue that the defense team is learning about right now. 
They don't think the stuff that we've seen the alerts. They've like the RPOC has showed us the alerts. They're like, oh, highs, 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 suspicious activity, you know, really scary stuff. But they don't think it's actually malicious. And the only reason that can be is because there's a million other alerts all throughout the rest of the network. Apparently, they had a whole group call over these weird alerts that were actually generated by us. But we're not so out of the ordinary that they decided to really do a full-scale incident response. Okay? Hey, Al, I got my OSCP in 11 days. Any tips? Uh, don't fail it. Uh, don't fail it. That would be – that's a negative. So, so again, this is why it's, first of all, so important that EDR – you need to recognize that EDR is not the end-all, be-all. Uh, of your situation this is an environment that has all the good stuff it's got it's got great edr it's got cyber arc okay it's got network segmentation it's got the whole fucking deal okay it's got the whole deal but it, it's not it's no substitute <coughs> for a seasoned defender with a 